<laughs> All right, welcome to the OSRS podcast. I am Mitt Mad Cow. What's going on, boys? Rex as always. And hello, it's me, Rice Cup. So today we have Mr. Rigandau, our first time ever having the Golden Man himself. Um, a little background about the man: he was rank six in all of high scores for all screaming skate for a time. And I knew him personally when he was going for the 200 mil Slayer. And nowadays, he has uh, been working a lot on Iron Man. He was doing like a original old school RuneScape themed Iron Man at the start with restrictive gear. But now he's expanded upon like, you know, the meta game of RuneScape on the Iron Man. So welcome to Mr. Rig. How are you doing? Nice to have you today, boss. Thank you for having me. I'm doing great. <laughs> what an intro. Dude, yeah. um, so mm. I'm going to start this off. We'll start off with a bit of a Q&A about yourself. Um, <clears throat> I've just got a random question. Like, how did you come up with the name Rig and Dow? Where did that come from? So, it was the year 2000. I was nine years old, and I was watching the Sydney Olympic Games. And there was a boxer uh, that appeared on my TV who was extremely elusive, it, stupidly hard to hit. Um, a man from Cuba, and he went by the name of Guillermo Rigandao, a Cuban oh, boxer. Damn. That's how I came up with the name. I've loved boxing since about four years old. 1995 is when I watched my first boxing match. I was four, but I still vividly remember it. And Rigandao in the 2000 Sydney Olympics won the Olympic gold medal on his 20th birthday. And wow. I've been in love with the box ever since. Not in that kind of way, but, you know, I just <laughs> great, appreciate great, great, great. Yeah, yeah. I love with the uh, box. Yeah. I think we're all just, uh, the box. <laughs> just an extremely skilled boxer, and then he went on. To, he went on to win his second Olympic gold medal in the 2004 Afghan wow. Games. Damn, back to back. Yeah, That's back crazy. to back. Whoa. It's like a 17-time <clears throat> gold medalist boxer. So, holy. So, and I. Sorry, you go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah, and and so when I started Old School RuneScape, the day it came out. I uh, tested to see if the name was available, and it was, and I've stuck with it ever since. And now it's pretty much became my, in a, in a sense, my real life name. Everybody in real life calls me Rig now. Really? The only, wow. people yeah. that call me, the only people that call me my real name is mother and a few old school friends, but people that I meet uh, new now in real life, I say my name's Rig. I'm just more used to that now. I mean, it's been my name for 10 years, so. And it sounds pretty, like, normal, too, you know? Like. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I just call call people I know online by their online names, even if I know them IRL. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like, even if I like see them IRL, I, I call them by their yeah. game yeah. names or like a short name for it. Wait, I don't, I don't even think I know your name, Rice Cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't need to. Yeah, yeah, just call me Rice. Is, no, is your coincidentally? Is your name a Rice? Um, no, but coincidentally, the the name that I use for English, um has uh, it's it's part of rice so so uh, you know people just call me re in 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 english in real life oh, it's right re, of course god but, but it stems but it's from not my, what but is it it stem, my real name is not like my chinese Yo. name which is my first name right it's re it's just one i want to learn that bro you gotta tell me first, off stream you know, there, it's dude, one part of my right? first first name because in in chinese your first name has two two words which is like two syllables, right? Re is just one part of it. And you can't say re by itself re, re. in Chinese. Cause, no, no, you can't say that by itself in Chinese. Because then it means like fuck. So then you don't do that, right? So you got to go with the full, oh, you know. Sounds good to me. But it's okay, because like, you know, we're talking English. No one needs to know that. So it's re. But like people think that stood for the rice or something. But it's not. It's just coincidentally, you know, I just use rice. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. Just call me rice. I prefer, it's easier. Or re, whatever. Yeah. A lot right? of, a call lot of people rank, call me you know? minty, bro. It's like. It feels so natural to be yeah, called, I, called yeah. Mint. Mint all the time. <laughs> yeah. You know what calls me cow? A couple people call me cow. That feels a little weird, but I, hey, fair enough. But a lot of people call me yeah, Mint. Yeah. Yeah. Let's natural. call let's call Rick C. Rick. That's good. That sounds bad. <laughs> hey, you can call me Rick if you want. I don't mind. So yeah. to, to follow yeah. up, like I've got I've got like a almost like we're going off on a tangent straight away, but it is related to what you're saying. You're hugely into boxing, and I'm sure you know am, yeah. you know a lot about it. So Yep. I I know literally next to nothing about Olympic boxing, for example. Can can you like explain to me exactly like 
I don't understand what the divisions are because I I know of fighters like Tyson Fury uh, and like yeah. you hear about like Jake Paul in the YouTube boxing, but like I've never heard of any Olympic boxers, and I I don't know if it's a different category. Is it a different like league? Like are they on a different level? Like what's what's the difference here? Olympic boxing, you're basically an amateur boxer. Okay. Um, yeah. What was the question again? Sorry, the difference between professional fighters yeah. and <clears throat> Olympic fighters? Yeah, like, is, is there a difference? I'd assume that people that are Olympic boxers are the best of the best, yet I never hear of them. Well, well, normally a boxer starts off as an amateur boxer, of course. An amateur boxer is before you turn professional. And um, the goal as an amateur boxer, like, the supreme goal is to win an Olympic medal, preferably gold. Right. When they win the Olympic gold medal or or compete in the amateurs after a while you turn professional you gain your experience in the amateurs then you move on to the big boy ranks which is professional boxing right so that's it really in a nutshell there is okay. quite a few uh difference in rules between professional and amateur but not that big a rules um olympic olympic boxing is a bit more uh laid back rules compared to professional for the longest time amateur boxers that wear uh headgear not yeah. these days though but the uh, the goal is still kind of the same between amateur and professional hit and not get hit. So wait, I, I, so I got a follow up question to that. I'm a bit when I think of Olympics, I think of like you know the British Olympic team. So it's like, am I right yeah. in thinking that the likes of Tyson Fury was in the yeah. British Olympics at one point in time? I think I can't really remember. I think he competed in the olympics but he might have gotten knocked out i can't remember okay yeah you i'm not mike sure tyson? uh no tyson fury is like a british boxer was mike tyson ever mike, in the olympics M mike tyson competed in the olympics i'm pretty Definitely. sure but he didn't he didn't he didn't medal though what i think i think that's crazy he's a KO he... artist if he didn't medal it's insane bro i always um i always i, think, thought... I can't remember I always thought the Olympic. Let me Google for you, boys. Olympic yeah, Google athletes. It, yeah. I always thought Olympic athletes were like, you had to go to like a really good school. You had to speak proper English. Like you had to be like a posh person to be able to like fight and do all of that stuff. So that's not the nah. case. Nah, nah, not at all, bro. Lots of people from the streets have won Olympic gold medals. People that come from nothing. No, not at oh, all. Okay. Apparently, he was not allowed to participate. In the Olympics, right? Because it's racist back then, or what? Wait, 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 what was the reason? Uh, well, I need to uh, let me let me look at it. They were scared, bro. That's why he's gonna beat the <laughs> shit out of everyone. Dude, well, I, it I honestly like it always was a thought, bit of an outroar. So I always that, thought you had to I go to like a fancy it. school. I, I thought that was the case, like, or you stood like a way better chance if you went to like a private school and like you could just get straight in. I'm assuming that's not. No, the case, no, like. you just need no, no, you just need talent. That's it, really. That's why I never that's worked. That's good, Rixie. Sorry, man. Damn, if only I knew. God damn it. I I became a runescaper instead. Like that much. Yeah. For boxing, you know, easier said than done, but if you come from nothing, no education, no background, but you're good at boxing, you're good at knocking people out, stopping people, hitting people and not getting hit, you will probably uh, win a win a medal or get somewhere in the Olympics or the European Championships. It's as simple as that. It's nothing to do with education or anything like that. I don't think so. Anyway, okay. You just I heard that's talent. where, um, that's that's where the talent, coaches right? get those people. Like Mike Tyson, I believe, was actually found on the streets. Was he in the streets? Yeah, 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 yeah he, he was. Street he was. Team. He was found on the streets by Cus Dimato, I think. I think he was petting trainer. pigeons or something or what? Yeah, he yeah. yeah. Pigeons. He he had nothing. Yeah. Now, I, I always hear those stories about boxing, you know, like from the rags to riches, right? Through boxing. Literally. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. being a coach Plus just sports, stabbing yeah. in the streets? You're just looking at orphans like, ah, the next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was got some spring to it. All right, come back to the gym real quick. We'll see how it goes. And just eventually, boom, Mike Tyson was born. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. It's weird, but it's awesome. That is crazy. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry, I, I've, I've taken up enough time. One of you shoot off a cue. Yeah, all right. So now, you know, we're talking about interests and passions, but of course, RuneScape and grinding is definitely, you know, one of your passions. But um, I feel like, you know, it's good if you want to expand on what I talked about in the intro, you know, just about kind of like your original uh, RuneScape experience, you know, what was like your main passions at the time 
and like how it transitioned over time. Can you, can you know, talk to us a little bit about, you know, the whole ranks, right? Skilling and the 200 mil slayer, you know, give us a bit of detail about that. Man, the, it's, the viewers. it's such a hard question because it's basically trying to answer a question like mm. in a 10 year time frame. Yeah, you know what I'm like saying? A, a reflection, but, you know, give us a yeah. reflection on those times. Yeah. So when I first started Old School RuneScape, tragically, I can't remember how I discovered it. I was I was an old school old school player from 2003 to 2007, and I quit. I came back for old school, but I can't remember how I found out about it coming out. Can any of you guys remember that? Are your you voices know, frozen, frozen, or is yeah. that just me, bro? Yeah, so, I'm uh, freaking out over here. <laughs> yeah, who me? Where am I? <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait, is that no? That hasn't. Sorry, one second. I'll cut. I'll cut this part off. Sorry, we're asked that That's question. Like, you again. can leave it on. It's fine. It's funny. <laughs> we're having, we're having hey, some technical you... difficulties over here. The rice, guess. bro. Why you look so mellow right now? Look at you just. So... It's it's fine for me. Yeah, oh, like, so you, you got it. Where are you? Us two are frozen in time. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. One second. Rice is so sassy, man. <laughs> Why does Mintz oh, work? Brother. Oh, there you go. There we okay, go. Right. I just had to I had to take him off and put him back on. I'm so sorry. I was looking at Tom and Tom was moving and I was like, what the fuck's going on, bro? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we're scuffed. Oh yeah, good. you were asking you were asking uh, how I found out about it. Well honestly, yeah. I just kept I just kept watching videos when I wasn't playing. So like I remember Soul Wreck was like, yo, petition, uh, you know, we're gonna bring old school back. Jagger said they're down, they're gonna, you know, there's a voting coming up. Do it. So then I, you know, I went and voted. And then, you know, I kept up with the news. They're like, ah, oh, yes, it's finally being released. You guys have did it, you know, enough signature, uh, enough votes, right? It was like 700 or like 500,000 votes or something. It's a really interesting time. Could you give like a little more detail for those who don't remember how old school RuneScape came to be again? Because mm. yeah, yeah, as you all know, it. right, like after EOC came out, a bunch of people found an amazing reason to like quit cold turkey. And well, I would like for me, I, you know, I didn't really like was waiting to quit for, for say it was just more like ah oh, you know things changed a lot and and the goals i was working on like the combat system made it not so interesting so i i stopped playing for a while come back here and there you know i was watching youtube and there was this youtuber called soul Wrecked, right he was very well known right at the at that time because he was very passionate i think there was another uh youtuber that was kind of like working with him as well it was a different youtuber i don't know but i remember soul Wreck was one of the big ones Maybe it was like soup. I heard I heard soup was part of that there, kind there, of movement. But there was a bunch of them at the time. Yeah, but so Wreck was the one that I follow for you know for the up to dates and uh, up to dates. And he was talking about like how we could petition to bring it back. And he's got a you know connection with Jagex, and they're they're you know talking to him about it, talking to those people involved about it. And eventually, uh, old school. I mean, Jagex, you know, released like this thing. They're like, okay, well, we're we're thinking about bringing it back because we actually found. A, a save drive, like a drive of a 2007 version of RuneScape, and we could bring it back, but we just don't know if we want to. Like, let us know, right? Bro, and it, isn't it funny how they said back. they they found it? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, hey, you, like, yeah. dude, like, oh my god, EOC comes out, their player base just like straight down. Like, 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 Yo, I found this in the fridge, guys. Do you want? Oh, <laughs> you know, dude. like that's what they. So it, it's like, because okay. they, they they finally when they actually yeah. saw the graph of the players quitting and just falling off dead they were like shit we should probably listen to what they've been saying for the last like year everybody at that point in time was like this is just not it this is because they did yeah. like beta runs and stuff for eoc and but, it was terrifying because they're like wait hold up you're completely changing the game from what we have now to that <clears throat> And it was just, it was just a it was a ticking time bomb like it was only a yeah, matter of time to, before to be, it was over. To be to be fair, I think it was at a time when Jagex didn't really understand what getting feedback from players really meant, you know? Because like yeah. I felt like ninety percent of the decision making was pretty much right within themselves. But but anyways, right? Like so they put out the poll and you know they're like, all right, well if we get enough uh you know votes. Right, then we'll bring it out, and and surely enough, it did get enough votes. And then shortly after that, they brought it out. Um, I was in high school at the time, so I literally was like, I was like, shit. As soon as I get out of class, I'm going back home. I'm logging in. I'm getting that RuneScape guitar. That's like you know. And then that that was how it started, right? Because they brought back the server, and everybody 
that I, you know, like me that was watching YouTube at the time brought it back in. And maybe told some friends, you know, maybe your friends told you about it. And that's kind of how it all kind of began, you know, so. Yeah. It was such a magical time, wasn't that? Fresh oh, yeah, economy. It was crazy. No one has anything. Bro, Rune Skimmy was selling for like 70k for the first few days. <laughs> it was working amazing. You guys got any good stories about the beginning of old school RuneScape? Because I'm sure all of us played. I think. Yeah, Tom, I, I did you play? Few. I had a few. I, yeah, I played. I just couldn't get back into it for a while. Like it, it took me a while because um, I was, to be honest with you, I was really like sour about the re. Like they literally, I was a PK. That's all I did was PK pre OC, and I didn't care about anything in the game apart from killing people and taking their loot. That was it. So I went from doing that every single day for like 10, 12 hours a day to then having it taken away, and then I went and got a life for like the brief period of time that you know runescape disappeared i went out i went to the gym i actually <laughs> nice did life, stuff bro. with my life <laughs> thank you um and then when i come back it's like wait i've got a start from level three i was like i, I like, loved that personally so me for, too. for me at that. the time i <laughs> yeah. I, I, I despised them i was just like i i'm not doing it like i i remember i logged in and i just fished because fishing was like the only thing that i did way back in the day that was anything non-related to uh to PKing that I actually enjoyed. So I just went and fished in uh in the fishing guild. That was I eventually got the level and then I just fished sharks like a noob. And then maybe like a year later I properly got back into it. But it took me a mm. while. I was very bitter for a long time. Yeah. For well, sure. But uh, for the those who weren't three. bitter and loved the <laughs> beautifulness of old school RuneScape in the beginning. What's a, what's a great story that you remember? Like when when you think of the beginning of RuneScape again, you're like, oh, that happened. Oh, um, yeah, you know, Rick's got to take the floor on that one first before I. Well, the beginning of Oscar RuneScape for me. Yeah, what, what yeah, just stands out the yeah, most? Highlights. <clears throat> Nothing really stands out really for the first like six months or so. I was just skilling. I was in a clan, uh, you know, nothing special, just in a newbie clan, and I was going for fifty all stats. No, that's Fair about enough. it. Quested. I'd, uh, there was nothing huh. special in the first six months. Nothing that really comes to mind as a highlight. But you I eventually, mean, sick. but yeah, you eventually still. like max before like max cave even was a thing, right? You know? But yeah, right? about yeah, a yeah, year yeah. before it came out. But yeah, anyway, back back to <laughs> what you said to me, like, <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. That's special. What, like, so wait, 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 hold uh, on. So you just skilling for the fun of it, obviously, and for you enjoy it. So I guess, I guess, my yeah. question is like. You like I would never go for a max without the incentive of there being a max cape, just because that's just like how I am. It's like if there's not like a trophy at the end of it, like I'm not fussed. So like, what was the driving factor for you to just go for 99 and everything? Like what 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 was the reason behind that? Well, back when I was 22, 23, it was the ranks that was the incentive back then. I was a rank chaser. Oh, I see. So, mm. so for the first, like, I, I can't remember. It could have been half a year. We're talking like 10 years ago now. But I, I do remember the first stages of me on Old School RuneScape. I went for 50 or stats, did a little bit of questing. Then I got 50 or stats. Then I went for 60 or stats, then 70, then 80. And I, when I got 80 base stats, this is at a time where when I was 80 base stats, I was like, I was like rank 50. Oh. With 80 base stats on the overall high scores. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, well, if I'm 80 or stats and I'm ranked 50 or so, I think I'll just smash out 99 one at a time now and see what rank I get. Ranks were the incentive back then. Not, yeah, not a, a max cape. It didn't have a max cape back then. That's about it, really. It was just, it was just a yeah. chain reaction, really. As soon as I got 99s became max when i maxed i became like rank 21 and then i thought well i'll go for 200 mils now and see if i can push it and push it and push it that's it i was just chasing numbers and we all chase numbers don't we in this game but yeah yeah no i mean like i think high scores back then especially was even crazier because yeah it was yeah, one of the yeah few things that were truly tangible i felt you know right outside of just getting like a lot of money or getting a lot of gear like you need it like the high scores was probably one of the, the craziest goals, you know, for for skillers for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I feel like that that mentality, I don't know, maybe I just don't live in those circles, but I don't feel like it's as prominent nowadays yeah, as like it no, was. No, 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 no. Like you've just taken me you've like unlocked a memory there where I'm thinking like it was a big deal back in the day when you saw like Zezima yeah. at the top of the high scores. It was like crazy, right? But like Yes. 
Do, do you think, like, the player base is, like, general interest in the game has, or, like, mentality has kind of changed? Of course it has completely changed now. What One thing I do want to say about Zesma, though, back in the good old 2005 days, you know how we watch YouTube and Twitch for our enjoyment? Well, back in 2005, the high scores was my Twitch, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd, I'd click on the high scores. It would take about a minute to load on my Pentium minus five processor. I'd love to see where Zesma's at. And the old knight and Lil Yuffie, the hate, etc. cetera. Yo, I, I, I like just love did... to see the progress. Yo, who added Zesma in the friends list? <laughs> oh, Everyone, bro. I, did. <laughs> I, I have him added right now. <laughs> yeah, I think I... I... I mean, I saw him a few times, like, randomly, but that was, like, yeah. much later. That was much later. Oh, yeah, but well, I, you know, yeah, continue, yeah. But but looking at the high scores back when I was 14 in the 2005 times, I used to look at Zezima's stats and see all of the 99s and think to myself, how in the world did he do that? Here's me going life and death trying to get level 50, level 60, and that's, like, 100k experience, and he's got 13 mil in one skill. Back when information wasn't as widespread as it is now, you know, to learn from one another, YouTube guides, etc. It was quite hard to learn metas or good methods about the game, wasn't it? So we'd be stuck doing crappy methods. Like, honestly, ignorance was bliss, though, back then, in my opinion. Ignorance was bliss, definitely. There was yeah. so much mystery to the game back then, wasn't that there? Part. Yeah, that, yeah, I think that was 50% of the fun for me. Yeah. Mm. That's one thing that kind of sucks these days. I still love the game, but there's no mystery anymore. There hasn't been mystery for a long time. We yeah, have everything like, figured out. Yeah, I think for me, like, the only way to compensate for that, you know, f factor of fun that's now gone is, is like, kind of like the, the, the due diligence of grinding hard, you know? It's like the satisfaction of a job well done. That's kind of like, you know, my replacement, right? As of many years now, right? Ever since kind of like... I. I came back into RuneScape, you know, uh, like playing Iron Man and stuff. It's kind of like, oh yeah, I remember that part of the game was really fun, mm. and 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 that's I think that's a good good point, you know, to to address about like the highlight of old school in the beginning, because like you know when old school came out, there was no GE and stuff, right? So no. it was just really back to the basics, you know, like trading with people, talking, negotiating, right, po po posting a, a offer on the Cybus, whatever, things like that. And honestly, I really like that part about the game. The whole, like, you know, the, a job well done. Because, like, the whole process, right, from start to finish, you had to pretty much do all of it on your own, right? I mean, yes. sure, there was trading. But, like, at the time, it was so limited in scope, you know? Like, like not many people had a lot of things. So you had to go out of your way to do a lot of that stuff on your own. So I think that aspect um, was, was something I loved about the game as a kid that I didn't realize that I loved. But then, you know, as I got older... And trading became easier. I didn't realize what was making the game more, I guess, dull. It's because yeah. the whole GE thing kind of made money making and stuff so easy that it, it just ruined like my creativity. It, like it killed my like, you know, sense of mystery. You know, like the mm. whole and and the grind aspect of doing things on your own. Like it killed it. But then you know, Osu came back, and then Iron Man came with it shortly after. And I was like, holy shit! I remember this part. I like that's why I loved the game back then. You know, a big part of it was the whole, you know, do it yourself and and, yeah. and put, you know the whole process. So it was... Iron Man ignited that. that yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Pardon me. How long? How long have you played Iron Man for? I think you uh, played honestly, it. Honestly, I played it when it first came out. Except it yeah. was on, on Arch Three first. It was right, uh, Mr. Right. Iron Bar on Arch Three. I played for a year. It was super fun. I was so addicted, man. Like I would grind all day every day like while i was in school i mean like it worked great because you know you you do a lot of afk and artistry skilling but mm. i just did like tons of homework and practice and study and i was like yes i'm gonna do it because i'm gonna get a 99 if i keep doing this like so i'm doing it <laughs> you know so like hey good grades and i get some good xp i'm good like it was so fun and then obviously i brought it to old school right? what year then, did you like, start iron man in old school it was like it was like almost a year after artistry it was like uh 2015 yeah, whenever Iron Man came out, it was like a year after that. Yeah, that's what I planned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, so I, yeah. But like, that was great, you know? Like, it was, so it was cool to see like R3 being a game that was very playable, you know, and like in that time frame, right? They like made the game a lot better. Side note, but um, yeah, I mean, one of the highlights though, uh, when, when Oscar came out was me farming a Rune Skimitar. 
right? Like at Fire Giants, like I found a secret spot at Brimhaven. I trapped nice. the wild dogs that were normally aggressive. I trapped them in like a little corner. Mm -hmm. And then I w there was this one Fire Giant I could range with Bronze Arrow safe spot. And nobody was there. Everybody, I, like there was like 30 people at Fire Giants in Waterfall Dungeon. But then there was just me and one Fire, gi dun uh, fire Giant in Brimhaven. And I was just killing it the whole time with Bronze Arrows. So it was nice. That was like cool. You know, the mystery, right? Like discovering a new spot and like grinding the runes gimme and then being able to sell it to someone. That was like such a good, good cool uh, first big moment, big breakthrough mm -hmm. in old school. But yeah, just kind of like, you know, hitting the old points. But but yeah, back back to you though, Rick, on, uh, on your transition though, right? You, you started Iron Man yourself, yeah. right? Yeah, no, uh, back to my main though. So yeah, uh, you know, I want to talk a little about my rank chasing. Um, yeah. So yeah, I got 80 base stats. And then I went for 99 all. And the more I dived into skilling, the more obsessed I became with ranks because my ranks just kept getting better and better. I was consistent. I know life quite a bit. I know life for a long time. And my, my life did take quite a, a dark turn, the, the higher rank I got. But 99 all, I think that got me like rank 21. And then I thought, well, I'll just go for... 200 mils now and see how far that I can push it. So Man. I started banging out one 200 mil at a time. And I think back then I was getting a 200 mil every two months, three months, maybe oh, cooking, herb law, eye nice making, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was insane back in the day. Insane. That's a but, whole story right there. Sheesh. Yeah, but, but skilling got to a point where I'd be worried about who's chasing me and I'd be worried oh. about who I'm chasing someone's behind me and someone's in front i'm chasing them some i'm chasing them and someone's chasing me and it became so unhealthy and ultimately i just wanted to see how far i could push myself unhealthy i know but this is me when i was like 24 25 different life different mind frame the best could rank you, i got was gone i was gonna say could you give us a um a summary of how your day was back when you were grinding in that <laughs> dark place. Like, how much time did you spend? Did you wake up and grind? Go to bed and grind? Uh, a summary of my day: what being top ten, play RuneScape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a normal I, 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 day, bro. Like I, I, usually, I, people I, go outside, no, they go to work, they go no, to breakfast. No, 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 no. There was n there was none of that. My my diet went to shit. My social life went to shit. Completely, because I've never been a max efficient player. Never. Even when I was top 10, I was a laid back type of player. But the other people that were playing that were high rank, I'm pretty sure a lot of them were tick manipulating and using ults, etc. But not me. I did chill methods, but that meant I had to play more. Oh, because shit. Jesus they, they were doing more. Yeah, that's... They were doing efficient methods. I wasn't. So I'd make up for that and, and play more and... and I do remember that most of my days I'd be playing 16 hours without fail. 16 hours every single day. I barely went outside. And you want me to be brutally honest? I barely Seven. showered. I oh. barely showered. How, how often would yeah. you say you showered? Like was it like a once a week, was it like a once a week shower? Was it like every other day or like how often? Like once every three weeks. Wow. wow. Damn, dude. Probably even that. What was the smell in I your think, room? Uh, I think I was used to my own smell. Yeah, but you, probably you like smell left it, it every once in a while, and you know probably. you come back in, you get that fresh whiff or whatever. You're I doing, like... I survived off of cereal and toast. Oh, bro, That's toast, it. toast is the best. <laughs> okay, actually, great question. This is like a foreshadow, of a, maybe a later topic, but like, so, I, you know, as you de descend it into, I guess you could, you know, you you assume you uh, infer madness, right? Like, like was it the thrill? though initially that got you into going for it and then it just kind of became such a strong habit that you could not really escape the habit or was it I more like voluntary you know you kind of like i ah, think yeah, it, I'm doing it it was a bit of both really but it got to the point where i just wanted to see how far i could push myself i got to rank six that's the best rank i got i couldn't get any further than that just too much because why and like the people there were just too insane yeah, like people were just catching you. up. People were catching up and whatnot. And it got to a point where it just felt like a well-oiled machine. You know? Yeah, you weren't human at that point, right? Is that what it was? 
I lost my humanity for a long time, bro. I do want to point out, though, that I haven't lived that type of life in many years. I shower every day. I have a good <laughs> diet now. You know, this was a long, long time ago before I was a streamer. I had no yeah. money or anything back then, no aspirations, no goals. Just a dark time in my life. But yeah, yeah, I got to rank six. I did say that I wanted to push it as far as I could. I got to rank six. I started losing ranks. That's when I finally let go. Yeah, I think it was for the best, for sure. Yeah. But that was crazy, though. That is crazy that you kind of managed... brings up the morality, though, of RuneScape high scores, right? I mean, it's exciting to see people climb, but what yeah. is the cost, especially in a game that requires so much time on top of trying to go for top 10 rank, which requires every ounce of your day? I mean, I'd, I want to make it clear that I'd, I speak for myself and not for the other higher ranks back then. Maybe they were living healthy lifestyles. You can balance it. You really can. But back then, especially, the, the ranks were quite takeable, if you want. But, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to like put a bad name on like other high ranks back then or anything like that. That was just my life. Who knows well, what the other guys were up to? I think it's honestly the reality that some might face when playing games of RuneScape in that nature when they go. Yeah. Rank. You, you know, so, I mean, like, yeah, just to kind of, like, contrast that, right? Like, I, f I feel like the human condition is so different for so many people, right? Because, like, I remember, you know, Link's Titan, right? Like, did you ever yeah. check that Q&A, right, that he did on Reddit, right? I mean, Give like... Give us a rundown of Link's real quick. He's a very interesting character. I mean, I don't know him like that, but based on the Reddit, right, you could tell yeah. that he was a special kind of person, you know? He was Dude, very he much was not lovely, like man. us. He was lovely, you know? dude. I remember I spoke to him once. Um, sorry, sorry to jump in. I, in I have him or yeah, I, I spoke wait, wait, to him in game. Did Links, yeah. um, did he pass? No, no, he, he's cool. He's he's here. still he's right. Like, okay, he's right okay. Well, what are talking about? No, I thought he died. I was like, he's, he's alive, man. No, I'm being like, a little too nice. Yeah, okay, I'm just saying. I'm saying like the in terms of like his you know I get you brain works. He's different. You know, he's different. I saw him in game. I don't know if you yeah. remember this. It was uh, the Slayer Cave, Neve or Steve's. It was Neve at the time. Steve you know, Jobs Cave, yeah. They, they changed that cave so many different times, but at one point in time, yes. what, I'm, I'm pretty sure they had, um, mm. what were they called? The devils in there. The uh, Not dust devils. Smoke the devils? Smoke devils at one point in time they were in there until they moved no. them. I don't think they were. Oh, no, no, no. Was it always at Castle Wars? It might have been Castle Wars then. It's on like the outside of Castle Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? yes so yes. I ran in, I was in there on my first task ever, and um he came out. And as I went in, he told me where to stand. He was like, Oh, go stand in this spot. This is the best spot to be able to burst him. I was like, Cheers, man. <laughs> and it was literally but I was amazed that he spoke to me. Because I he was going for like rank one at the time. And I I I looked him up. Because I was like, it was at the point in time where it was like, holy shit, he's level 126. I was kind of like, this guy looks like he's gaming. Let's have a look at his stats. Like, I was dude, like, oh really... my god. <laughs> <laughs> you were I was like, holy. Up, like, Bro, I was like, you? this guy just took like a, a, a second. Like, he took. He probably took 30 seconds to talk to me. It was like really nice. I was like, yeah, really humble dude. Like from just that interaction, I was like, damn. Like he actually took the time to like give me some advice, you know? Like a person like that, I'd assume they were just flat out. Like the amount of times I, I remember watching like Suomi back in the day and like he'd have his maxim party for like 200 mil and he would not waste any time, bro. As soon as he hit it, he'd tell it straight out. And like everyone was just stood there like, grats on 200, he'd be gone. Yeah. <laughs> like so, on to the next so one. The, the thing with Link's Titan, right? Like obviously he's rank one, right? But like, I think, I think for him, it's not really necessarily a bad thing that he was, you know, that like that he grinded that hard because I think with the way from you know based on his reddit post right he was like yeah i eat like x amount of this every day uh i do like x amount of push-ups every day it's like the way he lives is is basically a machine with a specific mission right and his mission yeah. was to max and he'll and that's no, his it. mission that's his he, mission was rank one yeah rank one sorry like and that's yeah. literally that was that you know and i think for obviously most of us we have like oh we gotta wear opportunity costs like it's like oh well if i go for this then I lose hey man, time just in threw that. it all out the window and said, this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm going to spend my day for years. And he accomplished it. Yeah, but like the way, but that's because of the way his brain works, you know, yeah, his like, yeah. uh, mm. you know, like I, I'm not an expert, so I don't, I don't know the exact conditions that he has, but like he, ha he, he, is it Asperger's, he has, right? 
Yes, it for, is. Yeah, something like that. I don't I yeah. don't want to like, you know, I, I don't know enough to say, but like if Rake's confident, you know, since he, you know, you follow the that stuff more. But yeah, he has a certain condition which, which, which makes him, you know, able to do that and it's not really bad for him, you know, like it's like so normal. It, I, I haven't you know, read the in post. that sense. Is it fair to say, like to me, it sounds like you're describing someone who's very like regimented, like they have like their routine. Well, like he's like he's like everyday. born like that is mm. the point. It's like he's yeah. just born like that. So if he has like a specific task he wants to do, he will keep doing it until it's done. Yeah, basically. And there's no like qualms or regrets about it. He just does it. But us normal humans, though, like you know, I think Rig is closer <clears throat> to normal than you know to us, right? So he closer to for normal. him, it might be hard, you know, <laughs> like it'd be hard, right, to like want to keep doing that because um, yeah. because then you're like you're giving up on so many other things that you care about. You it, know, it, put so, it this way, right? Yeah, ninety nine percent of the time. Living that type of lifestyle, I don't mean really call it a lifestyle really, but you know, no life and whatnot, it is not sustainable. It really well, isn't. Us, right? We're yeah. only human, we're not robots. You will eventually give in, you know, in 16 hours, 17 hours, not doing much else with your life, etc. Too much of anything is bad. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, agreed. Agreed. Um, I think got... it's only special cases where like, it's like we can't really judge it like that but i think for all, almost well, so every you're one saying of us that Link's you know? titan was was ha very happy in his current lifestyles what you're saying rice even though it was well, such a well, lifestyle of well yeah he, he 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 well like his in his con in his way of living you know like like his parents didn't care about it you know he just kept doing it so it was that you know links doesn't play anymore he hasn't yeah, played he since Frank goal. One, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he finished his really? goal. Do you and think that's if it, a like new a... skill came out, he would come back to reclaim his his rank? So, so I do want to touch on that. I was yeah. actually thinking about the new skill about a couple of minutes ago, but like I said about in 2005, where the high scores were very, very relevant, and everybody, the whole player base, would be checking the high scores constantly. It's going to be like that again when the new skill comes out. Oh I yeah, guarantee oh, yeah. it. I mm. guarantee it. And here's the thing: when the new skill comes out. I'm telling you right now, all of the people right now with 200 mil all, there is going to be the biggest sweat fest yeah. in the oh, history yeah. of all people, people bro. Yeah. to get 200 yeah. mil and mm. capture rank one. Mm -hmm. I'm, Absolutely. I'm I'm, I've, you know, I'm, I used to be a high rank skiller. I used to talk to a lot of people that went hard. And I'm talking 20 hour day RuneScape playing setting their alarm after four hours of sleep, playing 20 hours, rinse and repeat. It's going to be something like that again. Um, that sounds, but yeah. I'll Dude. tell you right now. <laughs> huh? As I said, the first thing that comes to mind is like solo mission, and that sounds frightening. <laughs> do, do you know what? I, I hope that they fucking smoke him. I hope that solo mission plays like 24 hours a day and the dude's like rank 50. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> he's getting it's, some it's... proper skillers now. Like, oh. I can't it's wait. solo. He's gonna have like a two week period of where he's rank one, and it's just gonna go. I, I, the high scores are gonna change. You know that, right? High scores are gonna change. How, how does that work exactly? Like, explain it. I, I don't know enough about the high scores to fully understand. You're telling me like Link's Titan won't be number one. I'm assuming because uh, it's based probably on probably not. Levels. Total, yeah. Total okay. NXP. XP, yeah. yeah. And then XP. So, 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 if you're 200 mil in a skill, that rank, whatever you, you know, whatever place you got 200 mil, like rank 50th, it will be there forever. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You capture yeah. that rank. And that's they're not that. increasing the total XP. Even R3 is still 200 mil. So, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. They're not changing that. Oh, yeah, like overall yeah. rank, it really matters so, if you want to mm. climb. And I think at 99, then it matters like who has the most XP. And then whoever gets that 200 mil locks in rank one again. Yep. Mm. Overall, right? right? Yep. Appreciate but yeah, it. top top ten will look very different when the new skill comes out. Yeah. You know what I, comes I guess... to my mind is that how much money is going to be spent on this new skill? Because those people who play, I don't know if the word professionally, they're not really getting paid to be on those high scores. I wish they were, right? I would I would hope if you put that much time and you're getting paid. But these people who how they professionally train this skill, they must have a big ass bank. If they have two hundred mils. They must have a massive bank, and they are willing to drain that all to get the fastest XP possible um, to lock in rank one. It's going to be crazy if there's viables. A lot of the 200 mils are very expensive. Yeah. Very, very expensive. I mean, Craft mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, also no matter what, right? There's gonna be some ulti involved or like the the use of the m multiple. Accounts, oh, they're gonna so buy, sure. dude. They're gonna pay yeah. for people's time. Like the per if, if oh, it's yeah, a skill absolutely. where you can benefit from trading in this skill, the person who wins gonna have like probably twenty five dedicated people just running yeah. all day long. Very much, you know. Billions yeah. are gonna be flying, bro. Like nothing when this skill. It, comes yeah, out. And, it is kind yeah, of scary, man. Like one of the first things I think about is like general health. I don't know why I think about that stuff a lot more. No nowadays. one's gonna die, bro. I, I hope, hope not. 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 It, it depends, uh, man. Yeah, it depends how not. like you know in the I'm trenches not. they get with it. Like fuck, dude. I trenches wasn't it rank I mean, four Smith and shit be... himself and then bragged about it. I mean, they're getting in the trenches. That was a rank something. It's not even rank one Smith and he shat himself, bro. I mean, props, yeah. but. Just imagine what they do for rank one overall. They're gonna, they're there, gonna there's gonna be shit some up. stories. They'll be all over the floor. Yeah, uh, it, when when a new nine comes out, there will be some pr crazy stories. It's gonna go beyond RuneScape community. That's for sure. Like a hundred percent. Like, oh man, I, I like. I feel like a lot of people will also try to keep their strats secret too, because obviously, you know, it's a it's a real race. It's like yeah, a true race for permanence, right? For I could see like them hiring clans to like brainstorm oh. ways to just power level one person to rank one overall, right? Just that's, I don't know how hard skilling clans go, but like this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I could see them trying to plot. Right, like, so if it's a viable. I, I, I got, if it's a viable. I've got a little yeah. bit out of the box question here. So like genuinely <clears throat> thinking of it from a, a place of like health and safety, and I, I feel like I know the answer to this question. But like, do you think? Not maybe not responsibility is the the right word, but is there anything do you think that like maybe Jagex could put in place that would like prevent people from physically hurting themselves? Because like you said, people are gonna go fucking crazy for this. Like there will literally be people that don't sleep for days, and they're gonna yeah. risk all sorts of health problems. Like, uh, well, they already uh, they already have them kind of things to help players out. If you've been playing for a couple of hours, you get a little message in the chat box. Hey, man, you've been playing a while. Do you want to take a break? Yeah. Uh, so, brilliant. Brilliant. Like, yeah. I'm not. No. I'm obviously not Very saying. Helpful. I'm not saying they're going to be liable or it's their responsibility. But like, it's not. They're, they're, it's they're not gonna... their problem. Oh, dude. it's not their problem. Yeah, I know, but that's. I don't know. There's, just, there's something about that that's like so barbaric. It's like throwing crack at crackheads and just knowing that they're going to go crazy. It's human nature, and it just shows on all platforms. When there's something to be grabbed, it doesn't matter what, if it's just some sort of honor, right, in real life. If you could, like, hacky the sack more times than your enemy or whatever, just anything. Guinness World of Records. I mean, people measure their turds. If they can win, <laughs> they will win at all costs. They will sit at the top of their throne of whatever profession that is. RuneScape is no different. I just hope hmm. no one dies. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, I just it's hope on... there's some funny news that comes out of this, you know, like oh, yeah. spread throughout be. everywhere. As, as I said, it's not Dragex's issue; it's on you. It's your responsibility. True. I think most of us that play the game are fucking adults. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. That is I, true. I agree. I just, yeah, I hope nothing bad happens. It is just be a good will. sportsmanship about it, you know. Like I feel like with any sort of competition, right? Like, like let's go back to Olympics, right? It's all about. You know, the having having a sense of self, like I guess, honor to it. You know, you don't you don't go to the point where you die. You know what I mean? Like you just right People understand would. yourself. <laughs> yeah, but There's if you do own. that, then it's like definitely not our faults, right? It's not the community. No, I, fault. listen, I'm not I'm, I'm not trying to say it's like yeah. anyone's fault. It's obviously <laughs> it's it's yeah. obviously the person's fault at the end of the day. It's just a fault that yeah. I had where it's like, damn. Yeah. It, it's like realistically, somebody probably will end up dying. And it, it is a, a, a terrifying that, thing to think about. I feel like I think that every time Weeks comes out or Dead Man Mode, I'm thinking someone's probably dead and we don't even know. <laughs> wait, 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 uh, end up dying from what? Sorry. <laughs> Playing too well, much. For, for, oh, yeah. yeah gaming, yeah, yeah. brain aneurysms. There yeah, was yeah. a. Getting a blood clot. It, a blood there's a lot of stories like of this. Common. Sitting too long. Yeah, without moving. But there's internet yeah. cafes out in like uh, Japan and Asia and stuff like that. And this guy just died because he stayed there for 20 hours playing world of warcraft he just died in the chair in the internet cafe yeah blood clot maybe yeah blood clot blood clots, well like so if you sit right if you sit like in one position for too long i guess that's what happens you know you die you die yeah. of blood clot but luckily i fucking fidget all the time so i'm okay but same, yeah, too. same. good luck good luck you know everyone needs like a treadmill under their desk or something they'll be all right i don't know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a morbid yeah. fault i do genuinely think like damn 
It's just, I hope that nobody takes it to that extreme. Like, no amount of XP or rank on the high scores is worth your life, boys. Straight up. Like, it's mm -hmm. just, it's not worth it. It's not wrong, no, but you already know they're going hard. A new you skill know. would be taken to the extreme. Yeah, it'll, yeah, that'll be the biggest update of all time. But doesn't that make oh. it exciting, though? Right? Yeah. Like, the real competition, taking this game incredibly seriously, where you are just sacrificing your life for like Rem months remember it's your responsibility not ours <laughs> but it's exciting thinking there's yeah. competition out there like that where people are going to such extremes to to think and manage their bank and just i don't know and have runescape which was already dead but came back out to be so competitive it's weird that it's not an east for it but it's more competitive than an east for it in a way it, it is. It, it is very an interesting and exciting time. I, I'll tell you this. I think that uh, the first 99 is probably going to, or like the first race, there's going to be multiple races here. I'd say at least two, mm -hmm. right? The first race is to 99. And I expect that a lot of people, like that's going to almost be like people just sprinting for the finish line. I, I've heard of people that have come up with strats that are quite good, where people, part of me, are planning on making fresh accounts getting every single XP lamp that they can get and just dumping it into the skill on release, it's like insane. on the day to get that That's head start. Insane, but well, here's bro. the here's the thing. Yep. People that are, you know, 200 mil wall, they can't do that. They can't take advantage of that unless they want to start on mm. a new account. So it's like, you know, the amateurs is going to be first to 99 and then the real race is after 99. It's like who can the make war it of to nutrition. the 200? Yeah. yeah, that's the battle of attrition right there. The 200 mil. Oh boy! So you know, you know, ninety nine is going to be the obviously the biggest hype one. That's going to have all the YouTubers, the amateurs, etc. But like the the oh, long yeah. race, like that's going to be yeah, on. Every, for, for yeah, everybody fights solo mission on YouTube. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for the nice. rank one thumbnail. Yeah, he's going to do that one, and then he's you know whoever goes for the first ninety nine. You know. Tom, Tom ninety nine will be ninety nine will be irrelevant to me. I all yeah. I care is who will get two hundred mil. Ninety nine yeah, will be yeah. achieved in a couple. But people will be playing 20 hours a day people will get 99 in about a week yeah probably less no joke yeah but your Sorry. game gets thrown around a lot it's it's still you know whoever got that first 99 rick comes from he comes from a place of truly achieving 200 mils you know so so yeah that's why to him it's like he'll never see it the same as us you know because yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's a lot of effort man no, yeah. no, no, 99's, 99's feeble to me I don't yeah, know. Exactly. Just the way he, it is. he can't go back. He, I don't think the man can go back, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feeble. I like that. Yeah. So, dude, I've got I've got like a bit of a personal question, I guess. So you can choose how much you want to go into this or not. Um, um on the subjects of uh your dark times when you were playing 16 plus hours a day, when you look back on that, and I'm sure you've in internalized it and you thought about it a lot. Are there any key takeaways that, like, maybe you've learned about yourself during that time in that process, which, like, it may have taken you some time to think about and be like, I didn't realize this, or I'm able to do that, for example? That's a tough question, man, but a very good question. Do I Have I learned any lessons from the 200 mil times? Honestly, yeah, take better care of myself about it really you know when Number you one, when you when you're playing runescape for like 16 hours a day you don't really learn much about yourself you're stuck in a trance i was all of, all of them all of that time spent chasing ranks i was stuck in a trance if you know what i'm saying yeah uh, it's like that momentum it, right yeah yeah, yeah there, there, constantly there wasn't going for it. There, there wasn't much to be learned from them times really because everything was so automatic, again, like a well-oiled machine. But when I look back at them times and how dreadful my life was back then, I don't regret it. I am that man who believes everything happens for a reason. I believe that me chasing all of them 200 mils and ranks back then got me to where I'm at right now, living in this lovely apartment all through the power of RuneScape, streaming the game full time. I believe what happened then, what I did back then, equals to what I am right now. Yeah. That's fair. I mean, I think it's fair to say, you know, I think if I was in that position myself, I'd probably look at it as like, okay, so I know that I have the work ethic and determination to stick at something like dedicated for it for years and work on it and i i assume that's probably what you've you've used that 
on your own your own job now, which is streaming, obviously. So you're probably consistent, and you you know, I I assume that you apply what you've learned from that. And I mean, I I guess like a good follow up question would be like, what was the point when you realized that you didn't want to go for it anymore? Like you said that it was once you hit rank six and they were catching up yeah. with you, but like. What was, was there, the thought was, process? You know, yeah, I mean, I was, was, was yeah. there anything else that was kind of dragging you away from that lifestyle? Was it like a real life thing? Like, because you also stopped playing on that account, right? Like, you jumped onto an Iron Man. It, but that that was years later. Um, okay. So, very hard to explain. Um, Take your time, boss. Like, what was it? Was it like a so, fast transition, or was it like a process? Like, slowly, you you, you sort of stopped wanting to do it or was it almost like overnight that you you realized you didn't want it anymore no 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 it's when it's when i achieved rank six and i finally got passed after that is when i thought let go and that was in 2015 or so i let go of all of it and when i let go of all of it i came out of that trance and then i started thinking about stuff next year 2016 i thought to myself I wasn't playing the game as much as I used to, 16 hours. It was more like 8 hours, 10 hours. I toned it down a little bit. But that gave me more time to think about what else I want to do. Self-reflection, etc. And then I thought to myself, well, I'm still like rank 9. It's slowly trickling down. Maybe people will want to see me stream. A top 10 player streaming the game. There's not many of them that are streaming. I gave it a shot. But I will say that I didn't start streaming with the intent that I could become full-time. This is still a time in my life where I have no self-belief. I have achieved nothing in my life, to be plain and simple. I had no confidence. I just wanted to try out streaming, see if anyone would want to talk to me. I started streaming. And here, here I am to this day, bro. I don't know, doing it full-time. Yeah. I didn't have a donate button until like a month or two later i just wanted to see if anyone would come and hang out with me nice yeah yeah i mean nothing wrong with the donate button it, it makes streaming a bit more fun you know <laughs> uh, <I guess>. <laughs> <laughs> but uh oh yeah no i so i i you know i knew i knew you when you were streaming not not before right but um but like particularly when you were going for like you know the 200 mil slayers and stuff and then like i i I did observe that you, you know, you were shooting very consistently, but then I think there was a point, right, where you kind of stopped. I, I think there were a few, you had a few, few like of those times where you kind of took time off from. I've had a lot of them yeah, hiccups yeah. in my time. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, how, what is the process? You know, what is the, you know, how does that kind of, you know, like, like you have like a lapse, right? And then you come back. Like, what, what, what is like kind of like the struggles with that, you know? Because uh, this is a topic of kind of like mental health and stuff, so this is more of an example of how does one kind of deal with it, you know, when it hits hard, you know, and how do you come back, right? Everybody deals with mental health in their own way, man. Yeah, I, I deal with it in a specific way. I have three disorders. I have bipolar. I have post-traumatic stress disorder from my childhood, and I have delayed sleep phase syndrome, which means I cannot keep a stable sleeping schedule ah, kind of impossible fuck. really what was that yeah. last, what was the last one called delayed sleep phase syndrome okay could, could medically you... diagnosed with that how, in how the is that... Uh, sorry i was just gonna ask uh, uh, what, what's like the definition of that so ba basically my body clock works in a 25 hour mode instead of the usual 24 hour mode basically for example if I go to sleep at 10 a.m., the next day I'll go to sleep at about 11 a.m., half 11 a.m. It spirals constantly as the days go on. So I loop in and out of nocturnal and not nocturnal. Okay. So, yeah. Man, I didn't do, know that existed, bro. I'm sorry. Do they, do they know if that's something you're born with or is it something that you develop over time? Not sure, really. So I you... was diagnosed. I was diagnosed in 2003 at the Queen's Medical Center. They have like a special. I don't know if it's still there now, but they have a special like sleeping uh, department of the hospital. And I stayed there for a couple of nights. 
and they were doing tests on me and stuff like that. And I was diagnosed with it. Yeah, that was when no, you were I, easy, pretty young then. Young, yeah. young, very young. Yeah, yeah, around the time I was diagnosed with bipolar. Yeah, PTSD, I wasn't diagnosed with that until, until about 24 years old, 23 or so, I think. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, so, so that, that so, stuff hits you from time to time. And yeah, then you so, just when, gotta, mm. so when people are like, oh, Rig, you're awake at weird times. I just can't be asked explaining again and again what I have. I just say, yeah, man, I've just been no life in, but there's a deeper problem to that. I, I can't yeah. be explaining it all the time to people. Yeah. No, yeah, no I totally sure. get that. It's, dude, I, uh, oh my God. I, I think we all, we all suck with our sleeping patterns. Like we're all pretty much nocturnal at this point. Um, well, okay. Okay. I don't necessarily suck at it because I'm consistent. All right, let's hear it. Yeah, dude, you consistently <laughs> you know? wake up at three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I consistently I sleep late. Well, no, okay. I don't want to <laughs> see late is not the right word. I consistently sleep at a time at a specific time but it just happens to be when a good amount of people will probably be you know getting ready to wake up right yeah. but i always wake up also at the same time which is around like you know 3 p.m or something so bro it really like so i'm constant i've always struggled i've always been a night person i i, I i'm not diagnosed with anything but i've always had this like power just to be able to push through being tired at night like, I get to a point where I'm just, like, not tired anymore. It's like, oh, shit, I was tired, like, an hour ago, and now I'm just fine. And um, I've always just, even since I was a little kid, like, I'd stay up all night playing, like, PlayStation or whatever. And then I'd wake up at 7 for school, and I'd be knackered all day. But I'd still then again that night as well. I'd stay up all night as well and play PlayStation, and I'd just keep doing it. And it's like, my body's always kind of went into this, like, you know, uh, nighttime. It's just, it's just where I default to. And I, I know that I don't have um, insomnia because from what I can tell from insomnia, insomnia is where like a chemical in your brain doesn't get released. So like mm. a normal person that has this, and I, I don't know what the name of that chemical is, a normal person who doesn't have insomnia, like come a certain time at night and which is typically around- like, Melanin? It could be. Mm. Between like nine and yeah, midnight. Yeah, that's what makes you go to sleep. So. Oh, it mm -hmm. must be then. So between nine and 12, yeah. that gets slowly released. It makes you feel sleepy and tired. I get that. I'm just like in such a bad habit of constantly staying awake. It's just like, like put 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 it this way. Yesterday, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning and I stayed awake until eleven p.m. I went to bed and I woke up today at eleven a.m. and I slept in intentionally because I knew we were recording this at ten o'clock at night. And I was like, damn, if I wake up early, I'm gonna be fucked. Like I won't be able mm. to talk on the podcast. Wow. So. Okay. Hey, that's yeah. a sacrifice for you guys and our listeners. So, and and tell them what you cracked open at the beginning of the podcast. Right? What, what, one of these, and it's worth pointing out because I got flamed in the last episode. It's zero sugar. I was talking. Wait, I, wait, yeah. wait. Zero sugar is horrendous, bro. Get the sugar, man. What do you, you dude? I'm diabetic, bro. I can't. Oh, like, I can't oh, have oh, fucking sugar. <laughs> He's gonna die of real sugar. It's, it's like, oh, man. <laughs> It's like stay awake or choose death. Yo, those are the options. Yeah, no, it, I I can't imagine not having a consistent sleep schedule. I mean, I could do like certain oh. days where I gotta I gotta do Bro. do it different, but like I need to revert back to that steady. Yeah. It drives you know, me crazy. It, yeah. it it drives me crazy because if you don't have consistency, or at least for me, I'll speak for myself. If I don't have a consistent like wake up, go to bed, etc., I just feel constantly tired. Like it's exhausting because your body's it almost feels like you're like jet lagged or something it's like every yeah, day kind of woozy weird. so woozy. What, yeah, what, I get woozy. What, what happens to me is like i mean sometimes i can have a good sleeping pattern where i'll wake up at like nine o'clock every morning go to bed every night at like 11 12 for, for like a month and then it takes like one night of staying up where i just miss <laughs> i miss that like it's almost like there's like a a oh block of God. time a block of time mm. when i get tired if i go past well, it know, i can't sleep you know why uh, Tom, right what is that Sleeping happens in cycles. I don't know the exact name. Uh, the REM cycles. You want those. You well, need not, to hit at least a few of those. You know, REM cycles what? happen in your sleep, but I'm saying like sleeping yeah. cycles just happen yeah, where yeah. You'll, yeah. you'll get sleepy for like a little portion of time and then you'll just go wide awake till the next cycle. Right. And there's like, I don't, I don't know the time limit, but that is a thing in your brain. So you're just, I'm missing you're it. You're just skipping it. You're skipping you gotta it. You got to make you sure know you it. hit that REM sleep 
you know, yeah, when as you soon do as I sleep, you know, as soon as I fill my cycle, I just clink. <laughs> I don't play that game, bro. I'll tell, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something as well. I know for a fact, like a big part of my sleeping issue is to do with my computer and, and the screen because yeah. wh whenever I travel, Lights. I have a mm -hmm. perfect sleeping pattern, better every single time, every single night. And then I wake up in the morning and I'll tell you the honest truth. I think it's because I am genuinely like a child and I just know that I can have so much fun on my computer that it almost <laughs> yeah. it stimulates me to stay uh... awake. And it's so easy to push for it. If I'm not on my computer and I'm like traveling, I'm just like, life is boring. Let's sleep. Let's like wake up in the morning and do something with the day. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm it, exactly it's like that, man. I have to force myself to sleep because I know if I wake up, I can get stuff done. But I'm like, I could just so many activities to do at night. Yeah. And, yeah, I mean, I think you can work whenever, like for us, because we stream last night. Yeah, content, I mean, so. I think I sleep consistently enough that when I do need to take that day to do, do break off from it, it's okay because I have that reserve energy, you know. So reserve energy, God. Yeah, yeah Rice was taking jogs after TwitchCon, bro. After his ten-hour <laughs> flight, he's just jogging along, bro. He's got his literal no, reserves no, in there. I haven't run in a week, so I, I'm gonna lose it if I don't go back. I haven't ran in five <laughs> years. Didn't mean I went out for a fucking jog. Uh, but... No, I, you know, I needed to. I needed to. I'm gonna go for a run after this, but it's weekly. I, I only do it weekly, so it's not even that bad, right? It's going. Anyways, on. yeah. No, see, Rake's probably like, damn, you guys in your sleep, you know. <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh, so I, I don't yeah. have trouble going to sleep. I sleep just fine. Different. It's just, yeah. it's just, can't control the the body clock. Mm. so so how does how does that feel then like is it, it i i don't fully understand it because i get it like your time zone's kind of moving i guess you said 25 hours but like yeah how, so like explain to me like so today you woke up you woke up quite late today right you woke up at like yeah i woke up at nine. about half half nine p.m okay tomorrow i'll wake up about half 10 and 11 then, p.m so so does it just keep going up and up and up yes yeah, just spirals. Oh. Yes. So you go all yeah. the way around. Like that's just how it is. Continuously, yeah. Jeez. Continuously. That's... And and it's probably one of the biggest um how would I call it? Pushbacks of my life. It affects everything. Yeah. Socially, etc. Like for example, if a friend wants to hang out with me and he says, Rig, I wanna hang out with you at this date, at this time, and we'll be here. What if that day I'm nocturnal and I have to meet him or her with no sleep? It's like that a lot of the times. It's a roll of the dice when I want to do something, when it's the outside world, wherever I have to be there at an event, it's a roll of the dice. And sleep's very important, of course. Yeah. If I go places without sleep, I'm nocturnal. It affects everything, really. So, so what would happen if, like, I, I probably know the answer to this, but if you just, like, set a time, you set a time and you're just like, I'm going to wake up at that time every single day, as I'm sure you did when you were a kid and you had to go to school, etc. Like, yes, what, yeah. What happens to you? I, I'm just not myself, of course. Is it you don't sleep I... at all, or, like... Pardon? Is it, is it a case of, like, you won't sleep at all, or you just wake up, like, knackered all the time? I wake up tired as shit, yeah. Damn. And obviously, when I'm tired, fuck everybody, man. Oh, bro. <laughs> yeah. Cranky. Yeah, pretty much. Cranky. Yeah. Tired or hungry, fuck them all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, that that's true. crazy. So, so is there anything they can, like, do for that? Like, is there any kind of, like, operation or, like, some sort of medication you can take? And I, I, every time, every time I go to the doctors about it, the NHS is in shambles here, bro. They'll just offer me sleeping tablets or something like that, and I don't want to take them. I've tried them before. They, they, they destroy me. They, I'll take them one day, and the next day I'm still groggy. Yeah, that I saw the ever yeah. that, that mm. doesn't cure the problem. Yeah, no. And you got those Ambien pills making people tweet shit out there. You know, making yeah. Mm. So yeah. dangerous game. Like, dangerous game. I'm man. not recommending it, but have you have you tried anything else? Like, have you tried smoking weed or anything? Or no, 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 like no. I don't. I, I, do, I, I, I do not take recreational drugs whatsoever. It's not good. Me, with my yeah. disordered experience, experience. Okay. yeah, from your experience, just... fair enough. No, big yeah. time. I'm, I'm, I'm teetotal. The only thing I do that's uh, pretty bad for my health, uh, very bad for my health, sorry, is vape. But I don't do anything to get yeah. me high or drunk. I don't drink. I, I don't do recreational drugs. Never been. Yeah, that type of yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I don't mind it. vapors, bro. It's like uh, I, I enjoy yeah. the nice cotton candy scent when I'm walking through. Yeah, once in a while. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but 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 yeah, I I like being in control of myself. I like being sober. I don't like losing control of myself or not feeling my sober was self. That, if you know what I'm yeah. saying. Due to like, mm. uh, and you don't have to answer this, but was that due to a really bad time when you weren't feeling yourself? Or? Um, it's a mixture of things, really. It's um. My childhood, it was affected big time because of adults and drinking. Mm. So I stay clear yeah. of it. That's all I'll say. Respectable. Yeah. Yes. I, I've never been a drinker. I think in my whole entire life, 32 years old, I've probably been drunk 13 times. And the last time was about 12 years ago. I'll never touch it again. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, mm. But I've tried weed once. Never try that again. No, not a good time. No, it's not for me. I'm I'm yeah. chill as can be. I don't need anything more to chill me out even further. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I don't yeah. need it's, that. It is a good time though when you get to watch Rice Cup eat a fish burrito thirty minutes in. <laughs> yeah. No, dude. Time no, 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 you're like, nice. Yo, bro. <laughs> little yeah. rabbit bites the whole time, bro. It was great. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I think that stuff is definitely one of those. If you, you know, you do it if you like to do it, and, and yeah, be yeah, responsible with it. That's it. Yeah, whoever. That's simple. It's really that simple. I, for I, sure. I, I just, how it should all be, honestly. But. I just love being sober. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's great. Mm-hmm. That's it's absolutely great. fair, man. I, I, I yeah. completely respect that. Have you tried? I'm sure you have, but like, does exercise help at all? Yeah, yeah, I exercise every single day. So I love my boxing, so I shadow box every single day for about 15 minutes. Yes, yes. I used to that's box brutal. back in the day. Yeah, that's great. I used yeah. to box back Cardio, in the day. everything. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, sick. Have you ever fought? Yes. Yeah, 23 fights, 24 fights, yes. three losses. Us, uh, yeah. Three no, medals. Man. The uppercuts. <laughs> two silvers, one gold, but this was back when I was like 15, 16. No major mm-hmm. tournaments or anything like that. It was more like local competitions, etc. That's still cool. To, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Any, any knockouts? Yes, about seventeen. Oh fuck! So most of them, yeah. you were just knocking yeah. the shit out of people. All right. <laughs> Dude, was too, super bantam weight. That was my weight back then. I was very, I was very small back then. I'm Maybe still small now, but back, I, dude. No, 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 no. I, I had to get a charity box. I, I, I got a nose job for a reason, bro. I got my nose broke twice. Damn, nah, yeah. it's not. It's not good for you, bro. I, I, yeah. I've been knocked out too. I've been knocked oh, out yeah. about two times. It's not good at all, yeah, bro. Yeah, that messes with your brain. Oh, no, no. Yeah, no. yeah. Did they hit you like the chin or? It, 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 you'd either get. I'd either get knocked out by the chin, the temple, or the back of the ear. And it messes yeah, with your equilibrium. Hit you in the back of the head, man. Oh, that's where your dude. memories are, you right? Yeah. That's that's terrible. Terrible. But 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 yeah, yeah that's why I, head injuries are terrible. Yeah. Plus yeah. plus I was like 14 years old and and uh, the gym people would sometimes put me in with 17 year olds. It, it it wasn't nothing like, you know, major. This was like some you know, scuffed backstreet type of boxing, etc. Um but in a gym. Mm. And and I've got knocked out quite a few times and it's not nice at all. I remember you'd be concussed for days. Ooh. Sometimes I'd put the milk in the cupboard. Sometimes I'd put the cereal in the freezer. <laughs> oh, bro, I've done that. Oh. Confusion. <laughs> Dude, I've, it stays you, with you. It neurologically that, changes you. You know, I, I heard something, not, I heard something nice. recently, uh, a discussion about people getting knocked out. So I've never been, I've never been knocked out. I've never been blacked we out. Fix that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, i've come really close like i've been white i've been green i've had cold sweats my heart's been in my fucking head i've had all of that but i've never been knocked out i've never went black but i heard something okay. the other day and uh apparently when you do get knocked out so basically it makes you more susceptible to getting knocked out again and apparently the reason yes for that's that right is because it's it's like your body's mechanism of shutting off pain right or, or whatever it is so it's like if it happens once it's like your body then realizes, okay, this is time to This is not out. good. Yeah. Yes. So you become, yeah, you like, become more susceptible to it, and it's more likely to happen in a faster, a faster way, right? That's right. Normally, normally, I've been knocked out about two or three times. It was a long time ago, but it was normally the shot that I couldn't see coming, which surprises your brain, of course. 
Yeah. Yeah. They're saying a lot of these blood sports have <sighs> an incredibly high number of athletes later in their life having mm-hmm. severe head traumas or or uh, just straight up dying, right? Yeah. Uh, a lot of yeah. football players. I mean, I saw a clip they of, die and young. I like to watch <laughs> I like, I like to watch a lot of boxing clips. I don't know shit about it, but it's just the intensity, the Mike Tyson back in his prime. I was watching those uh, compilations, and I mm. got over to YouTube, and I got to this weird page of YouTube where it showed the bad side, right, where you got those horrible incidents, and this ref yes. was just not calling these shots, and the guy just kept getting hit in the back of the head like three or four times. Six months I later, the he fight was you're on about. I know the fight you're on about. Yeah, he's, he uh, was full paralyzed, right? He's in a wheelchair, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I think like, I, mean, it's he's got also... the head thing going, and he's a and he was a full healthy man. Just yeah. a couple shots to the back of the neck, he's like Puerto legal. Rican or something. something whole like career that. gone, whole life gone. Yeah, and and also even things like football. I don't know if you ever heard of the study, a uh, football, American football. I don't know if you ever heard of the study where, I don't know the doctor's name, but he he basically studied, um, you know, American football players uh, over many many years like you know reported all the injuries and recorded all that stuff and he he uh he proved without a shadow of a doubt that like you know taking any head trauma from like tackling whatever will fuck up fuck you up in the long run like that's why like, I'm a runescaper. yeah that's why <laughs> and that's why they have those helmets and stuff now yeah. you know so 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 i just crazy. want to say my yeah. my boxing record which was like 23 fights 17 knockouts three losses this was a gym record by the way this was not like an official it hey, it's a gym record, record. Oh, a gym record that, bro. Right yeah. watch. But, <laughs> but, but speaking about speaking about um boxers and injuries and whatnot i i do have a little story so the first boxing fight i ever watched i was four years old and i can vividly remember it and it was february 1995 the first boxing match i ever watched it was gerald mcclellan versus nigel ben the g-man gerald mcclellan he was from america nigel ben was from england and it was england versus america huge fight i I think like five million or so watched it in the uk gerald mcclellan was sent from america to england to destroy nigel ben he was an insane puncher he had like 30 fights 27 knockouts 20 of the knockouts were in the first round he was Holy annihilating shit. people <laughs> but anyway gerald mcclellan for nigel ben it was quite a competitive fight the g-man was upon the scorecards but nigel ben kept hitting him in the back of the head and and gerald was saying to the the referee time and time again he's hitting me on the back of the head but the referee probably biased because of Got the uk paid, and whatnot maybe, maybe paid off honestly ignored it but anyway Joe McClellan took a knee in the 10th round, somewhere around there. And he passed out um, like an hour later after the fight. Anyway, he spent about two weeks in a coma, blood clot on the brain, and he woke up blind and deaf. Fuck yeah. Man. And severely brain damaged. You can That's look, gotta you can be read the worst about way it. to wake up, honestly. And, and, and this guy was a killer, bro. America was calling him the mini Mike Tyson. He was a killer, bro. Yeah. You would be lucky to last around with this guy. But his name is Gerald McClellan. He's still alive to this day. His sister, Lisa McClellan, looks after him, full-time carer. And none of it came back? Yeah. I say nothing not, came back? Not really, you know, no. Like, the crazy thing is, man, even if you don't die-die, you're living a life where you're kind of already dead, you know? But yeah, boxing yeah. and boxing, it's, it's bad. MMA, they're not jokes of a sport. Every time you yeah. get hit, Every time you get hit in the head, you're losing a slight bit of your humanity, your personality. Dude, it's not yeah. a joke. Or a disability. Or, Imagine not, going not from a, a full-bodied athlete to a vegetable. Yeah. With yeah. It's not a joke. Like the the thing sad. with boxing as well yeah, that's so, so dangerous it is like, right, so the gloves are they super focus padded, right? Yeah, well, oh, focus on the head. Yeah, focus on the head. The, the yeah. thing is, because the gloves are padded, yeah. you can take a couple hits. Like, you can get punched in the face with a boxing glove and you're fine. Like, yeah. It's no, it's I don't no think big you deal. You know how um, but look, my my my, yeah. point, my, <laughs> my my point is right is like if you compare that to I can't remember what the ounce of the gloves are for MMA, but it's like there's a hell of a lot less padding. So it's like if you take a direct hit no. to the chin with that, right? Where I, I whereas with boxing, I would assume because the the gloves are way thicker, it's like you can take more hits. And no, that, please let lead... me stop you there. Okay, go. For let it. me mm-hmm. stop you there, please. So in boxing, way more people die in boxing than MMA, and do you want to know why? The gloves are bigger. They're padded, yes, but there's more surface area. When you hit someone in the head with a boxing glove, it shakes the brain more. Whereas oh, MMA yeah, gloves, the yeah. more blunt force trauma. Way more people die in boxing. 
Okay. They probably yeah. did it on purpose because MMA is newer. So they're so you know, boxing. Did you do you know how boxing came to be? By the way, Rig. I think I think like official, the the official boxing sport, like an established sport, it came about in the eighteen hundreds, late seventeen hundreds, <clears throat> somewhere around there. But it was a very different time. Now, professional fighting, it's 12 rounds, championship fights. Oh, yeah. Or non-championship, it's 10 rounds, 6 rounds. Back then, they would do 50-round fights. Five-minute rounds, etc. It was different back what then, the man. Hell? What the hell? Did you say 50 rounds? 50 rounds, sometimes <laughs> even 100. People were monsters, yeah, it was, dude, bro. You would just People fight... Were... You just fight until you couldn't fight anymore. Basically, it was it was totally different. But yeah, boxing was, boxing really came on the map about late seventeen hundreds, eighteen hundreds, somewhere around there. The scary part was that these people, it was just something that happened. They, they were bored construction workers, and you know yeah. the people who were building those towers, they were bored, so they would just yeah. come together and be like, "I could beat the shit out of you." And they made it a sport because these people were so physically fit when they fought, it was entertaining. And that, then it but, kind of just erupted to where it is now. And that, it's probably a horrible explanation, by the way, but just, you know, really bad summary there. No, you've kind of got it, bro. But, but basically, when I say the 1700s, 1800s, when boxing became established, that's when they had their first champions recognized in the sport, the heavyweight champions, etc. Do you know any of those guys? John O'Sullivan? Sullivan is that a big boy? I don't I don't know anyone back there. I just know my. I think face. his name was something like that, John O'Sullivan. I think he was like the first recognized heavyweight championship boxer. I think his name was John O'Sullivan. Let me let me check, man. It's all good. Yeah. What what I was Sullivan. gonna what I was gonna say by the way to finish my my sentence regarding the padded gloves was I remember being told because they were so big. It means that you can take more hits to the head, which will in turn down the road lead to more like brain damage. <laughs> it's awful, uh, right? Which is like it's an awful maybe. combo, dude. Yeah, I maybe. do you know what? I I saw um I saw a video there, but it was an interview with Ronnie Coleman. Do you guys know who that is? He was a professional bodybuilder, massive guy. Like he he mm. won. Bald? Yeah, he he won the uh, he won the Mister was it Mister Olympics? I think it's like Mister Olympias or I don't know. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger's um thingy he won that like six or seven times right yeah and bro there was an interview of him the other day because he's like 60 70 years old now and they were like how much pain are you in and like bro he used to lift like he didn't he was a bodybuilder but he lift heavy and a lot like this guy was insane and he's like the pain's probably like a nine to ten all day he was just there oh just like god bro, bro he is fucked man and he's just like yeah. dealing with that pain all the and obviously it was from lifting all that heavy weight, and it's just holy. So crap. apparently, your body does not just keep bro, going. Then does if, it? If, unless if, you have the testosterone and supplements, if you're, or something yeah. like. bro, if you're deadlifting like seven, eight hundred, nine hundred fucking pounds, like that ain't good for the human body, bro. Especially if you do it like a bunch, you know. Did you Back see the guy the, uh... who benched twelve fifty? That recently twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. My that. God. Yeah. He has to eat twenty thousand calories a day. So if you want to be like that, you there's Strong a specific man. diet, it, it and I'm pretty deal. sure he's still gonna die. Like, I don't, yeah, I, I mean, I'd the, like to see him keep going, but it's so much yeah. weight, bro. It's too, too much, much weight for the human body. Man. Anything, like, right? Like we've said before, in, at, in at this the end of the day, day it's too much of anything. We're like made of bones and organs, right? It's like there's only so much you can do before your body like sees some real serious I, damage down the way. Man. Can yeah. I can I say too back to the the deaths in boxing and MMA? Uh, I say that boxing does cause more deaths. And let me just say, when the, a boxing glove is eight ounces, by the way, a professional boxing glove is eight ounces. That's not that big, and a boxing glove is actually harder than a lot of people realize. And a boxer trains with punches only, which means they hit so much harder. Yeah. punch wise than mma fighters because that's, cause all, that's they all they practice yeah yeah and it makes sense because like you know because you can you can lose just from a lot of like body blows right in uh yeah in, like, yeah mma absolutely. more yeah that's but like, i feel did. like with the body and then he go for like the chin boxing, yeah i feel like boxing a lot a lot of the knockouts are just literally boom you know head a shot to the head or something somewhere around there and then they have no choice they just <laughs> literally fall unconscious for a second right that's like you know that's gonna have some ramifications like like later on down the line somehow yeah yeah it's crazy i 
like people do not realize also how hard professional boxers hit. At the weekend, I was at a boxing event. Uh, two fighters were fighting. Now I was at their workout, and there was one fighter, uh, Mexican, I think. And he has like 25 fights and 22 knockouts. Killer. And I seen him hitting the pads. A ratio. God, yeah. yeah, yeah. I seen him hitting the pads from like three meters away. And his shots were so powerful. They, they literally sounded like shotguns. It popped my ears a little bit just because of the impact on the pads. People do not realize how hard these professional fighters hit, man. It is scary. Bro, scary, man. scary. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I remember. I, I had to go like this. You know, when you go like that? To unpop your oh, ears, dude. I, I had to do yeah, that, bro. Yeah. Man, punch, dude. Yeah, I remember, I remember gosh. getting punched in the chest when I was at school. I got like, I remember this kid punched me as Rightfully hard as he could. So. Bro, why, <laughs> dude? I, yeah, I was like, dude, I was a fucking bystander. I got, punch, I got punched for nothing but laughing. <laughs> That's usually how but, it goes down, dude. You fucking remember, laugh at me, he bro. He punched me so hard, um, I almost threw up. Like it was, it was fucking hard, dude. I remember standing there. I was like, "My God, am I gonna be sick?" It's like, I, I must where did, have he, where did he punch you? I think if I remember correctly, I think he punched me like in the chest, but like yeah. as hard as he could. You know, like obviously no glove, but like it was. I remember I was just like, "Shit!" I almost passed out. Like almost, never had. See, kids, almost. kids around my day, they didn't punch. They did what they was. Uh, it was called the corn dog. You guys know what a corn dog is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, where they take your their knee and try to ram it up your ass in. Oh, oh no! I thought can. you meant food. I thought you meant the oh, food. Oh no, that's what they call it. And you know what a hot dog is? It, it, oh god! They just flip gross. you around. So they're doing the one thousand years of pain. You know, oh, yeah. that was big, dude. That was big. I've oh, seen it happen in real time. It was a little disturbing. Yeah. Went Ain't your life? <laughs> Not me. No, I was a bystander. I would have. Uh, I don't it. know how I would have acted, man. Don't try to thousand year pain me. <laughs> it's, uh, I would say maybe it's easier to stop someone if you throw a punch to the body rather than the head. The body is more soft, way softer than the head. Yeah. Maybe. Dep yeah. Depends what yeah. you're punching, I guess, isn't it? I don't know. I, I'm so torn. Rixie's because... got a pretty big head, bro. I don't. Oh, yeah. I'd fucking suck, dude. I'd suck at war and I'd suck at boxing. <laughs> I'm just too big a target. Do you know what We're I mean? Both going just... down. I'm good. During the apocalypse, bro. We're not making it. <laughs> <laughs> But that like, Jared McClellan person I was talking about, the 20 knockouts in the first round, a lot of his stoppages were to the body. Yeah, you can fuck somebody up with body shots, dude. I believe you. Cripple someone. Completely yeah. cripple them. Especially if it's to the kidney or something. There's nothing that can stop you from oh, uh, going down. Yeah. Is it, is Your it, brain's it, a that's, that's like a cheap shot, though, in boxing. Is it even legal to like do kidney? No, the, you're not allowed to. No, right? you want a kidney. You, if they open that up, you go for it. The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, damn. Yeah, but, nah, I, I, I wouldn't do that. Bill sports. Man. Other than that. boxing, Rig, do you watch MMA at all or other fighting styles? I, so obviously I'm a diehard boxing fan. I always will be because that's what I was brought up with, what I, you know, took part in. MMA, I like it, but I'm not like a hardcore fan. But if there's a fight on and I'm awake, sure, I'll watch it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I love I like any sport. Yeah, Sorry. the blood sports, right? The fighting, I love any the sport camaraderie. Where, yeah, what about the, the face slapping competitions out there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those are ridiculous, they're, dude, they're so fucking... You know, I, I've got a take on that. I think yeah. that they're such a cheap... So here's the thing. Boxing is a sport. MMA is a yes. sport, right? There's but you don't like, play them. You don't play you, them. You don't play them, no, you no. play football? But there's like yeah. there's a skill and process to it, right? Whereas, like, I feel like a uh, slap whatever that thing's called, like the uh, UFC slap boxing thing. It's like, it takes away. I, I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't yeah. have any skill because I'm sure there is like techniques to it, etc. But it takes away from like all of like the, the little things and it goes straight to the climax. Like it's straight to yeah. the, okay, I'm just going to give you my fucking head and you take it off my shoulders. It's like, I, it's, there's just something about it that just seems like I will cheap. respectfully disagree with you, Rixie. Okay. I all do right. think it shouldn't be a sport. But did you know where it came from? It came from Russia. I know, wow. I know. Yeah, I've seen mm. the Russian one. Isn't that crazy? I used to watch those videos where it'd be in Russian. You just see a guy go down, they'd be screaming. I don't know what the fuck they're saying. But the reason why I think it's a sport, not that it should be a sport. I think it's fucked up. I think it, it kind of endangers human lives, right? Just straight yeah. up, you're taking someone to the face. 
but it's just the most brutal of sports. And they're all, I mean, yeah, they're also not regulated. They, they let you hit it with this part of your oh, hand, yeah, too, bro. which is really it's like, it's like a club, yeah. dude. Like, it's not good. Yeah. But it's, but yeah. Imagine, well, it's cheap, dude. It's, it's, so, it's a cheap sport. It's, it, mm-hmm. it's so manly, right? Can you imagine? <laughs> it is. It's so it is the manliest shit no, I've ever seen. Two people dude. face off. You're looking at a guy built for slapping. You never seen a guy built bro. for slapping before, right? Built for a slap, and you've seen him knock 20 people out, Russians. Now he's coming up to you. You know how much guts it takes to just sit there and just... Dude, I don't know. Like, yeah. wait. I mean, in my, in my like, world, slapping is more of, like, a feminine thing to do as well. Like, it's you not get really... up there and see how feminine it gets, bro. I, I've, seen, sh- bro look, 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 I, I've seen it, but my point is, like, part of, like, the, the actual skill, talent in boxing oh. and MMA is actually getting somebody in the face. It's like getting them to take their guard down or tricking or do whatever it is to get to that. Instead Boxing of just in giving... MMA is like trying to explain a Rubik's Cube. Sla- this slapping sport that you're talking about, it all boils down to who masters transitioning their body weight into the slap. That's about it, really. You know? And taking yeah, that weight. And taking it, yeah, and taking yeah. it. Truth Some of these people just, they, they can give it, but they just fold, right? And it's that... It's kind of like when you PK in the wild and you get that little numbness and you're like, I got to make a reaction. I got to move. I got to, you can't panic. Cause I'm, I assume if you panic before you take a slap, you're going to end up on the floor. You got to be calm. Dude, and listen. it's so hard to be calm when you got this meaty, gigantic dude who's probably Russian, which I think is terrifying sometimes. Well, Russian men, are they manly? You know, the worst part is when they do this, they'll warm up. So they'll pretend like they're doing it and they'll go, and they'll just stop right before the face, dude. And they do that four times. And oh. you're just sitting there. I'd be freaking the fuck out, dude. dude oh, my I, God. Listen, I won't deny that it's entertaining. It definitely is. It um, is. I, I just hope it's, that they're getting paid a fucking fortune yeah. enough enough to set them up for when they're crippled and they're not able to move. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, especially because they don't, they don't regulate it. it. They don't regulate, like, how how they, you know, yeah, and they you can know, hit each other. You, dude, you know they're getting paid Stupid. a few thousand bucks. And they're having to sign a waiver that is like, you cannot sue us. You are, even if you die today, yeah, it's like, not you know, our the fault. guy that runs them, like, that guy's really fucked up. <laughs> like, the, the guy that runs all of those, like, the MMA stuff, like, the, well, the, Dana the, White, the, bot- the UFC. Yeah, that guy. He, he literally just notorious. looks at sports he in other notorious. countries and steals them. Yeah, <laughs> but, and then he puts up. them in America because he has the connections with uh, the that's, UFC and all this stuff. So he, he can do that's, it. Like, that's like every corporation ever, though. Yeah, no, you know but, I mean? like, he physically makes money off of. People getting crippled in the long run, basically. Oh, for sure. I, I don't yeah, really know any. Crazy. I don't really know anything about him, to be honest. I don't yeah. have a personal opinion on the guy. Yeah. So but I feel like we're gonna see even more brutal sports because if you think you know where it originated was in Russia, and does Russia even have a sport they're known for? Right. Not not one that would I would say be something Maybe. that we're gonna talk about that normally. Like you'll you're gonna know an yeah. athlete. They might I have think they have some pretty good ice skaters. Oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah sure. like right, right, Winter right. Olympics, man, they up there. <laughs> right, this might be really like, silly. It's chess a sport. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, well they're very they, they used to be very good at chess. I don't know how good they are now. They used to hers. Well, I don't, uh, I don't think they're like the the world leaders now, but they were for a long time. But think about how hard it is to get a, an attention for a new sport. It's probably impossible. We already got all the sports. Now we got esports. Well, I want to see whatever the fuck yeah. you're doing over here. Oh, you're slapping the shit out of each other. Click. Let me see that. So the brutality me- measure is going to go up dramatically. It's the, it's the shock factor. And that's sports. why, dude. Yeah, it's it's no all idea. about shock factor, and that's that's simply why I think it's a cheap sport because it's taken away like the skill from how I see it with like boxing. And I don't think MMA, it will last. And it just gets yeah. straight to the climax. It's like. I don't I, think it's gonna last. I think something dumber is gonna come up and yeah. take over that. And I think it's that. quite. I think it's quite barbaric. Yeah, hundred percent barbaric. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you know what? Sure. I can't watch. I I can't watch it. Like I, 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 I literally no, can't. bro, traumatized. Me. I cannot watch. But you don't even get a little wrestle. curious when. Oh, oh, fuck that. Yeah, no. I can't I've watch too many. Dude, I've seen too many arm snap. Every single time I start to watch a video oh of like someone God. arm wrestling, I'm just like, no, 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 no. I scroll, someone, dude. I can't. Yeah. I yeah, can't I've seen that. I can't. Last TwitchCon. <laughs> last TwitchCon that me and Rice went to, like the day one, someone, someone knew had their arm snapped to a female or something. They were, and it, you saw the video. And you're just sitting there. Fuck that, you know, dude. dude. It's all, it's whole all TwitchCon ego. was ruined. Dude, it's all uh-huh. ego as well. The amount of times I've been out for like oh, drinks yeah. with my friends and they're like, Rigsu, you're big. Give them an arm wrestle. And I'm just like, I'm good. And, and do, you know, do you know what? Half the time, if I ever go up against anybody, 
and I, I'm like fucking like proper peer pressured into it. I just let him win. I'm just like, oh, well done, man. Mm. I'm just, I, I just let it go, bro. I'm not losing my hey. arm in a pub. Hey, <laughs> it is one thing for you: never give in to peer pressure, no matter what yeah. it is. Never. Yeah, that's, I that's a good hate. Yeah, advice. yeah. Nine out of I, ten times is shit. <laughs> it's I a shit hate ideas. people that yeah. peer pressure. I despise them. If you want someone to do something, maybe ask them a few times, two times. But when they say no after the second time, leave it. Any more mm -hmm. than that, I class it as disrespect. You just completely disregarding their wishes, yeah, what they want. Yeah, that's like yeah, manipulative Tom. in my opinion. I don't like yeah. it. Dude, it's Manipulation. My, yeah, it's my yeah. sister, bro. I, I, <laughs> she pressured me into arm wrestling my brother. And I was just like, okay. Yeah, screw your sister. <laughs> like, yeah, being, yeah, being, yeah. Being, <laughs> tea, being teetotal and, and not drinking, I've been like... Uh, yeah, peer pressured many a times. I've been yeah. peer pressured many a times into drinking, but I never give in, bro. That's good, yeah, dude. Yeah. I've had bad experiences. I always it. give in, bro. But next time, I'm gonna think of you. I got you. Yeah. Mm. No, I mean, it's gonna be like I'll smoke instead. You know, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, no, no, I prefer yeah. that over fucking getting too too drunk. To be honest, there's a there's a it makes you stupid for sure. Like, but a there's a sense sober, of like humanity. I mean, a little tipsy. A little tipsy is okay because yeah. then you're just like chilling. But like when you get to like the point where you're like. Yeah, I'm good. I don't yeah, like that. Yeah, but that's that, you that's every single time, Rose Cup. You need to like no, limit yourself. No, it's not. Bro. Dude, no, it is. Not, every single bro. time you no, go drinking with Mike, Trish. you're asleep in the no, pub. No, no, trust me. Seriously. Dude, last, last Twitch con, nah, that didn't even happen once. Yes, I just didn't take pictures of it because I thought you no, were getting annoyed. No, it didn't happen once because it was only when we, we got up in the day. The man sleeps in the weirdest positions. Bro. He'll be like, it's some feng shui. Bro, His dude, arms will be up like, shit. Okay, like, <laughs> first, of all, first of all, the times I did sleep, we weren't even drinking. I was just tired because we didn't get enough sleep. Drinking, I didn't I didn't sleep at all because we were just up and about you know I saved all my energy for those moments you know it's like bro mm. we had like no sleep it was shit sleep you know overall right we just like up and about every time so we only had like one day right where we actually kind of chilled it's uh, okay yeah. like you're you human bro you can get pissed yeah. up it's fine man you just need to handle yeah, your know, drink dude I didn't, yeah oh come on you just bro. gotta nah. handle it better brother I've seen yeah. that. Yeah. you can tell when rice is feeling it after one drink because he'll either start talking about anime and how it's like you gotta go, you gotta watch this shit, or he'll just okay, be like, look, to be fair, time I was smiling. just trying to impress a lady, okay? I'm not gonna tell you who, but uh, you know, I'm just kidding. Oh, I knew what you were doing over there. I, I was just trying to impress doing. Mint, bro. You know, I was trying to hype him up. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> after like two drinks, Mint looks pretty good with that ponytail. I bet he does. Yeah, I was trying to help him out, bro. Oh, yeah. By the way, inspired by Tom, uh, dude, like a I, distraction. I've got like a super tangent topic here, but this is just like popped into my head. Mint, every one of your tweets in the last two days has been written by chat GBT or whatever that fucking AI bot is. <laughs> Brother, can you make it any less obvious? I, Please, just, just, just do it. Up, bro. I've given up on Twitter. I'm absolute dog shit. <laughs> and I'm just letting the robots do it now because I just want a little bit of clout, bro. Just bro, give me a slip. Don't, don't, po don't post inspirational quotes, mate. No. Do, oh, post I'm joining camp. Escape memes. Rick, do I'm joining camp on inspirational quotes. Dude, me and him, baby. Uh, Let's go. Rick and Dow, have you heard of this AI that's called like Chat GBT or GPT? Am I correct in saying that, man? Yeah, Chat LGBT. Yeah. Fuck no. <laughs> okay. So effectively, it's like a really easy way to simplify it is like it's like a Google search, but you can ask it shit that's like super advanced. Like you could say to it, what is the most effective way for me to get into shape to do this? Or you could say, write me a script. Uh, about oh, a RuneScape yeah. love story, yeah, and it, my, it's my an AI. Yeah, yeah. I, I okay. seen this trending on Twitter like yeah, a month ago. I know what you're talking yeah. about now. Yeah, it's scary, man. Very scary. Dude, so scary. I would love to talk about it because, like, as I was just saying, so Mint is currently using that. He's typing into it something along the lines of... Clout. He, he's typing a lot along the lines of, give me a post to write on Twitter where I thank my audience and I tell them that I'm motivated to continue making content. And then he's copy and pasting that shit, posting it as a tweet. And the thing is, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna quickly tell you a story. So my friend recently came back from China and he isn't, oh he isn't very like forthcoming with like his, uh, his like feelings. Like he sometimes struggles to like tell you how he's feeling from like a deep perspective. And um, he fucking wrote into this chat AI thing. He was, I can't remember what he wrote exactly, but he read to us what it mm -hmm. said. And it was like, he, he was like, hey guys, I just want to say like how much you both mean to me and like daddy, dad, dad, like all of this stuff that was super 
Like, it's just not authentic. It's completely artificial. And I was like, fucker. I was like, you're reading that off that AI bot, aren't you? Later on, we yeah. got the laptop and we saw what he wrote. And it, like, th this is the thing. What he wrote into the laptop was like, please give me a way to tell my friends how much they mean to me. And I'll tell oh, you what, like, oh. seeing the actual authentic text from him was so much more meaningful than all of the shit that he posted. Yeah, but and you like know, he if he would have tried to type that out to you straight up, it would have been a little sus, you know? It's like, hey, man, I love you, or so. You know, he had to robot it up. That's how dudes do, all right? I, 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 Let's talk I about personally, it. I personally like to speak for myself and think for myself. That's fair enough. I like right. robots to do Agreed. it for me, dude. They're way better. My Twitter has been banging, <laughs> by the way, last two days. I'll tell you what, it uh, went from see. zero Sorry. likes to eight yeah. likes, baby. Oh, All right, we're there, dude. Robot, <laughs> we <laughs> <need> <laughs> a, take me to your nirvana. I'm done right. with this Yo, shit. I mean, oh, to be fair, bro, if my if my tweets were only getting eight likes, I'd probably Yo, my stop tweets on the suck, third. Dude. <laughs> my tweets suck, ass. I need all the help I can get. I'm a, I'm literally after this. I'm gonna put another robot tweet on my Twitter. I don't give a fuck, dude. Man, no, I, I personally don't give a shit about what likes uh, my tweets get, man. If they get two, if uh, they get two hundred, I, I don't care, yeah. man. No, because I'm like, yeah. dude, I barely use like I barely put stuff on Twitter, so I I gotta make sure they bang, you know. Otherwise, yeah. like I'm done. I don't That's I don't true. tweet all that much. Like you know, I do think less yeah. is more. Yeah, but... it's true. Uh, it, mm. Well, I'm just lazy. I'm learning. Really, I'm, I'm just learning. Lazy. Yeah, so, yeah. Because I'm so, like, bro, I already post on YouTube. I'm good. I'm done. I don't need. But anymore. you know I, what yeah. I've been using the AI for though? Not just tweets, right? That's just like a side project. That's like I've given up on Twitter. I really don't care. Let's see where we can go with this. <clears> what <throat> I've been doing is I've been taking a lot of my YouTube titles. And I'm like, hey, give me this YouTube title in different variations. And it'll give me 10 variations of my title. And I'll be like, no, no, make cool. it a little that more fancy. Sense. And it'll do a little more fancy. And I'll be like, how about shorter? And all of a sudden, they're fucking shorter. I'm just having a, a great time just constantly getting random titles. And I'm in love, bro. And it's free. Bro, here, here's the percussion, uh, repercussions, though. When you're like 70 years old, your, your brain's going to not work. <laughs> it really doesn't work. What do you think? Something for you. <laughs> Thank you for like me. That. Have dude. you heard me talk today, bro? It's over. All right. I, yeah, dude. I have, yeah. Mint's been like, Mint's been writing everything we've said Outing today himself. to chat AI how to respond been, to. <laughs> I have recently become a better host. Sorry. God. I've recently tried to get more active on Twitter. There was like a long time where I was very inactive just because of like being cancelled and shit like that on Twitter. It really put me off the site for a long time. Wait, now I've started get... to get back into it. Canceled, by the way? Would you mind going oh, into that? I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. Tom at all. Oh, no, I'll be open and honest. I got canceled a lot. Maybe you know about it, Rice Cup? <laughs> no? Maybe? Oh, wait. Me, me getting canceled a few times? Do you know about that shit? Ah, oh, man, a lot of people be trying to get canceled. Yeah, know, I know, so, but, yeah. but basically... I, I, I think, no. I, I, like, there's, like, that little noggin of memory of something like this, but I can't remember the details, so you go ahead and, and right. explain it. Yeah. Right, so there was a, a bad time on Twitter for me where I'd just be getting constantly cancelled, called out by people, and and I think it was probably deserved because it's quite a long story, and I'll try and shorten it down because I don't want to talk too much and take your time up, but basically when I first started streaming, remember I was in a dark space, as I, as I told you. I had no self-belief, no confidence, I was grinding 16 hours a day for God knows how long. It put me in a dark spot. On top of that, I won't say names, but I was in quite a toxic echo chamber on a certain team speak with people. And it definitely had an influence on me and my characteristics. And when I started streaming, I was quite a... Spicy? Raw. Unhinged. Spicy, yeah, yeah. Unhinged, yeah, unhinged, raw. Unhinged, yeah. Yet, to, yet to restrain myself, you know, as a streamer should, of course. We have responsibilities. We have to set a good example because, you know, a lot of people follow us and watch us and take inspiration from us. But when I first started streaming, I was raw, bro, and I had no limitations, I guess, with what I would say and what I would do. And I was pretty toxic, bro. I'm not going to lie. I was 25 years old. Dark time in my past, and a lot of the times I would be quite toxic to people. I would flame people out for asking me the most simple of questions. I dropped the f bomb a lot when it was uh, used quite a bit back then. Before it was cancel worthy, and that's about it. People would clip it and oh, put it on not Twitter. Talking about fuck, are you? 
No, 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 no. The bad no, F bomb. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, bad, this the bad was like movie. Quite far back then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it yeah, was I'm quite. Gonna... Yeah. It, it was. It was quite was a while back, man. I have no excuses, of course. I think it was probably pretty bad what I fucking did, but I used to get cancelled for that. They would they would tweet it out, you know, clips saying this guy is a piece of shit, is toxic, and and I was, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That's it. That's it, really. I mean, yeah, like. I feel like I've I've grown like and it, learned from it. You yeah, know. Exactly. And that's that, all that matters, right? Exactly as long as you, you know I, I you can't repeat what you did, then Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I haven't shown I, I haven't shown or did that that behavior in years now, bro. Years and years. So mm-hmm. well, you live and a, you learn at the gamer, end of the day, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like as a gamer, we live in this environment, right? Where it's quite common to be that guy even if you're not hateful to be a person online if you're playing league of legends or something it just kind of comes out and once you become a content creator you're like shit i'm not just a gamer anymore I yeah yeah man do what it i t- want it I took me a long on. time to learn that man long time I feel you're right I'll, I'll start telling stories and i'll be like should i tell this story of my uncle on stream probably you not do. it's fucking <laughs> I, I tell the yeah. ones there's a couple i can't tell though and i used to tell them <laughs> i'm taking it's like a dumb fucking idea to tell me yeah. stories bro yeah, yeah. No, they're clipping it bro but but one of the uh like main reasons of me getting cancelled on twitter people would call me homophobic because i used the f-bomb and i will make oh, it loud and clear that right. i'd Never am I homophobic, bro. I don't I don't give a fuck what people are. I just used it in a casual insult type of way when it was kind of used like that back in the day. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, sure. yeah. I went to high school, trust me. Yeah, that yeah, one yeah, used yeah. to be very, uh, like, you know, just kind of like... You that was kind of like the dude anywhere. of our time in a way, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you could sling it everywhere, you know? But, but times change, so, bro. Now, times yeah. change, and I believe as content creators, we must adapt to change. Mm-hmm, yeah, sure. I just Most think it, you know. I just think obviously words like the the meaning, the weight of certain words. They you know they change over time based on yeah, yeah. You know our society, so it's it's a fair thing to change how you view certain things. You know, like Bryce, can you give us a couple of those words? No, I'm not gonna say them. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean, but like yeah, I mean lately, right? Obviously Clip. the R, you know, the R word, right, the F, you know, the the bundle of sticks word. They, you I know, missed the R word, bro. I mean, the R word is like available, by the way. You can still use that. Like, there's tons of people. I know. Yeah, but I feel like, like it's on the dude, cusp, it's and it's like, like if I were to start saying it, they're just gonna be like, yeah, we can get rid of him. Yeah. Like, and and I understand that some people are like, you know, they're they're like frustrated that like they can't express those words and use it like um in a more casual way, but Really, you. Ha- I think. Uh, I think though, it's not that big of a deal because if you are necessarily triggered by not being able to say those words because people will find it offensive, you have to look deeper into yourself. You know, right? Is that more of a of the fact that you are, I guess, insecure, right, about your your ability to change they as a person, yeah. right? Like mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying, like. Like mm-hmm. I think it's okay. It's not. It doesn't really matter to me. Like it's not gonna hurt me if I don't use those words much. I just, you know, just need to remember. Yeah. Like, hey, I gotta not use what's it. What's <laughs> weird is how much power we give those words, even by canceling people, instead of just ignoring them or maybe just banning them off one social and just kind of like making them fade to, into an existence. We give them almost this kind of shadow reputation uh, when they say things we don't like. We give a lot of attention to it. That's that's the weird part. It's like if you want something to go away, ignore that shit. Right. Don't try to fight fire with fire. Just be like, okay, you just go this way or we'll ban you real quick, but we're gonna just never listen to you again. I think a lot of people just come after people, dude. It's I, I think a lot of these kind of problems where, you know, people are divisive over like terminology or like how you say certain words and you know, I think those all just come from poor mental health. Right. A poor yeah. aspect of mental health where you just are so insecure about su- such small things that you have to do a lot of inner fixing in yourself because you know if you can you know improve yourself mentally then those kind of words don't matter like i mean in in the sense of like are you talking ex- about the people who take it way too seriously when you say a word like those guys anybody anybody just, like yeah, anybody yeah. that's going to go so so out of their <laughs> way to like argue over the definition of a word or how much meaning or 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 like, like the hate raids yeah yeah that yeah, kind of the, stuff uh, you know there's some people like, that there's yeah. some people that make it their whole personality. Yeah, and it's cringe, yeah. man. I'm just gonna say, yeah. like, bro, you need to do better for it on yourself. It for feels yourself, like you're trying it, to yeah, be you know, honestly it's... a horrible person, but also keeping up the appearance that they're doing something okay. Like they want to live that life, but they also don't want to 
have the consequences for it. So instead they're like, okay, is it okay to hate on this person? I'm all in. I was ready to hate to begin with. I wanted to hate on someone before. I'll jump yeah, in. Yeah, exactly. Right? To me, it's just a symptom of something of themselves, which is mm -hmm. the inability to accept that, hey, they're wrong. You know, right? They make mistakes. Like people are... They are so bad at admitting that they fucked up or kind like reminds mm. me of PVMers in RuneScape, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's hard. Like, even today, sometimes I find it hard to accept that I was wrong in certain things. But like, but eventually I do realize like, okay, yeah, I was wrong in that. And then see, the, but, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. And the better I think of a person you become, because then you don't waste your energy on like, oh my God, you said this word. It's like it's actually pronounced this way, or like, oh my god, you can't, I can't believe you said this word in this context, dude. You can't do that, you know. It's like people will, you know, eventually. At the, at the end of the day, it's just yeah. it's just not that deep. It's it's not. Right? Just just right. like move on, you know. But some people just can't the because they're, of, yeah. they, Shit, they're unable. I've seen people you know? type as they're about to fall to the floor, right? Like they're trying to get one on me, <laughs> yeah. like they're saying some dumb shit. And I'm just like, you just gave me the cherry to my pie. Thank you so much. We got a thumbnail for my video. Like I I don't let it get to me at all. I yeah, use it. Soon in my to, in my advantage a lot of the time and i don't know why people don't do that right you can get a lot of coverage on videos if you have someone being incredibly rude and you just demolish them because why wouldn't you want to watch that that's the best feeling so i i don't know i use it against them damn bro almost all the time i mean you're yeah. an opportunist i am i'm i'm very <laughs> greedy so when i see money to be made i'm like yeah dude there we go Grab yeah, that. dude. Yeah, honestly, yeah, you're right. A lot of that stuff is not that deep, you know. Like, don't waste all that energy over it. Use that. Use that energy on something that will actually be Monetize more productive it. for you. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like that's productive. You know what I mean? It's not like most of TikToks. us that. I feel like most people that waste their time being petty about these things or like being way too gung ho about it is like, yeah, you could, you know, you could spend that time making more money. I, I'm sure most of us aren't that rich. You know, or like, are you on about, are you on about, yourself, are you on about you know? the people that cancel people, et cetera? Just to yeah, make it clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, like it's yeah, a big can, umbrella yeah. term. I feel like yeah. it's just a big umbrella yeah. group of pointless. Those who spend their time, you know, trying arguments. to find things to anger them. Yeah. Instead so, of trying to find things to better themselves with. So basically, yeah. bro, in, in, in my opinion, mm -hmm. people say and do terrible things. And that's the way of the world, bro. There is good people and there are shitty people, bro. And some in between. And there's nothing you can do about that. I think balance on this planet is impossible. Yeah. So it's just it's just not that deep. I, mm -hmm. what, if someone says a shitty thing or if someone does a shitty thing, whatever. It's the way of the world. I carry on getting on my day, bro. I play RuneScape, I stream. That's exactly. it. I, I ain't going to was... let, let that bother me. Yeah, that's one that's part the way of the world. There's so many horrors going on in the world that we don't know about. So to let something that you do know about bother you when you already know there's 400 other things going on that are way worse. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just think like... Who cares if called someone else a yeah. mama's a bitch, you know? Who gives a fuck, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, well, Will yeah, Smith like, slapped the shit that. out of Chris Rock, which actually kind of hurt me a little bit, but... Mm, yeah. Hey, but yeah, I, I, I yeah. so that's one group of the you know i feel like i feel like i call these the petty wars you know there's that part of it that's a petty war and then you know there's the ones that are like you you know i feel like we were talking about like oh so using certain words you know hey look if some people are, are sensitive to those words just respect it you know and move on right it's not yep it's not about you it's about being a good person and just giving people respect right mm -hmm. and i feel like a lot of people they, they keep thinking about themselves in the sense that like they're they can never be wrong or something it's not about right or wrong right like the mental issue is about you being insecure about about being unable to be wrong right but like this this thing is not about that at all it's just about you being a good person and just letting people you know have such a small thing for, you know and respect that right a lot of people can't because they keep associating it as like if i accept this then that means my lifestyle is wrong but like no it's not about your life it's not it about you an attack on the ego it, isn't it right it it's is. not about you at all stop like associating like you know certain words or like you know a certain beliefs as like yourself right as like your state of preservation it has nothing to do with that it's just you need to be a better person so stop wasting people's time and you know trying to fight over this stuff because it's not about you it's just try to be a better person and and fix that other shit you have going on in your mind because that's the thing you need to fix, whatever it is, you know? Because it has nothing to do with that. That's a petty war, you know, another one, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah. Rick, I'm guessing, for the most part, it, 
that was what like seven years ago maybe eight years ago. oh no it was it was more like uh four five years ago something like that yeah i think that was like before i knew you it was like right after you know you kind of like had that period, yeah and then i i got it's, to you ever the, see the, that the, um the 2016, 17, 18 times. It was around there about four yeah. years ago. Now, five years ago. 2012 eras, bro, were wild. Have you, have you seen those memes where it's like the the boys are in court and it says when the FBI downloads the Call of Duty uh, lobby records or the voice chats and you, they're all in court because they gotta, they're gotta they going to get canceled because of all the shit they said during the lobbies or the Halo lobbies and shit. You couldn't go on a lobby back in the day and not hear something dis- deplorable. You know, I almost feel like you couldn't go on an Overwatch lobby nowadays and probably not hear something deplorable. I got to yeah, be very careful when I stream that game. It was like the Wild West back then. Oh my mm-hmm. god! Yeah, those shooter games, uh, voice cons. Oh my god! Yeah, it was. It hit different Jesus. though, right? If you didn't take the hate as hate, it was just pure entertainment. You know, yeah. because uh, like you could just say that, hey, it's their personal problem. I hope they fix themselves because like it has nothing to do with you. You know, right? Like you just pity them, right? The, the, for those kind of petty wars, you just pity the thy fool, you know, and that's it. You get a good well, laugh. The best out of is it. when you get two racist people fighting against each other in the lobby, and you're just hearing them just shout obscenities at each other the whole time while you're trying to get headshots. You can't pay for that entertainment, bro. It doesn't yeah. exist anymore. That was a a period of our time. You're just a now bystander. Hopefully... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're just a bystander in that in in those people's mental health issues. Honestly, you're just in high school and you're hearing words yeah. you never heard for the first time being uttered, yeah. and you're just like, "What?" You're like, uh, "Damn, these kids need to get help," but you know, nothing. Whatever. Right, it was never kids. Game. It was usually like yeah, thirty or year olds. Or whatever. Yeah. Well, these adult kids need to get some help, you know, but whatever, it's there, you know. Then you'd have that really young kid that just says the worst shit to you. Like, he's, I don't know, like 11 years old. I don't know how, who gave him the mic before. He's got that nasally voice just shouting the N-word, and you're like, what is this game? Oh, dude. That's why RuneScape, it would be crazy if we ever got VoIP. If we ever got uh, uh, voice chat on uh, RuneScape. Oh, yeah, that'd be bad. I mean, that'd be th- real bad. So, as far as I'm aware, other games that have VoIP, right? So, like, Escape from Tarkov, Dark Dark and Darker, Darker. um, they actually have, as far as I'm aware, quite a good system for being able to, like, pick up on words that are, like, TOS. So, people don't really do it because they know that their accounts are going to get banned. Like, I mean, it's pretty much been proven at this point that you can run around in game where people have done and said deplorable things and still not being banned or muted. Whereas I, I wonder if VoIP would actually clean it up in a quick way. I, I don't know. It, it depends if they had the same the same system in place. Maybe it'd be an even better system. But I'm I'm open for VoIP in a way to where if you could toggle it off and on, and if you had it on, you could hear it. And then if obviously not, everything would just be the same. I think it's a work in progress, right? That concept. Yeah. Well, it could go into Runelight somehow, and then if that Runelight plugin got really popular, then we would have VoIP on Runescape. I just, I don't know. I can you, can you imagine it, it would, it would like have to be if they, if they ever did do it, it would have to be a members only thing because like they couldn't oh, give free it to, to play. Free to play. Long, I mean, long. I feel yeah, yeah. It has to be like not turned on by default. It would have to be people going out of their way to you know download Dude, it. You go, do you do, like you know the people <laughs> renting girlfriends would be out of this world. So many dudes would pretend to have that feminine voice just sitting outside the Grand Exchange trying to lure in kids and, and dudes that are rich for money. Use and voice boy, AI changer or something. Imagine <laughs> going to the Grand Exchange and hearing, hey, you want something over here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just oh, hear that whole, you're just trying to buy stuff. You just hear them getting oh. seduced in the corner, bro. You're like, God. It would make, it would so make for some like, amazing videos. Like, oh, I know. Wise. That's why I'm thinking like it would take RuneScape to that level that we're just, we're almost there. But it'll be boy, it'll, it'll be like literally e dating in two days, like twenty twenty three. You know, AI tech, God, so bad. And I'm just like, sick. bro. I'm just trying to play the game, guys. Like y'all, you know, y'all y'all going your private chats elsewhere, man. <laughs> well, I don't. What? I won't have that downloaded. So thank God, I'm not. You know, uh, well, fine. obviously, you know, VoIP could be bad, right? In, in mm. ways, but like a cool example of VoIP and Escape from Tarkov, one of Rakesy's favorite games, was this guy would be camping a room. And anytime the guy, someone went in the room, like he'd be ratting, he would turn on this train noise as loud as he could. So as soon as the guy gets in, you just hear, Bruh! and he shoots him in the face. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't know what, what we can do that with RuneScape, just spam noises, but it just adds that, you know, you can, you can play with it a little bit. It could even, you can make friends, you can make enemies, you can mess with people. 
I'd be down. It would it would definitely be interesting. I, I wonder how many yeah. people would there'd definitely be people that would use it, but like I don't know, I just imagine I going everyone. into like this going into like the Slayer Tower and there's some dude killing gargoyles like listening. Bro, to you like just randomly fart. hear a fart like you just hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? Can you imagine rock crabs and someone's about to steal your world and you're just shit talking oh, each dude. other for like thirty minutes, bro? You just come across two squeaky yeah, no. voices. I, I would not have it on just because oh, I think I just yeah, yeah, it'd be great for certain streamers though, you know, because like people that like that kind of stuff. What yeah. if it just cuts off when you die? So as soon as you kill someone, they just scream and it goes, oh! Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> they... that, that would be absolutely amazing. Oh my God. Ah, I, I tell think, you, man. Ninja has JMod, bro. We're they, bringing changes. They probably, it, it's quite a safe game to do it in the sense of like most people that play old school RuneScape are like older for starters. Yeah. It's like most mm -hmm. people are around our age or in like their 20s. So. I'm in my 30s. Or in their furries. Yeah. You don't look yeah. like you, by the way. You look like you're 24. Bro, Rake's living to 100. I'm 32. Damn, yeah, 33 this year. Rake's, he kind of looks 33 in a way. I'm 30 this year. Every Everybody <laughs> says that. If I'm talking to someone in real mm -hmm. life, whether it's an Uber driver, they'll be like, what are you doing in college then? I'm, and I'm like, bro, I'm 32. And, you know, they're always kind of shocked. Yeah. But I put, it down to, I put it down to genetics, no drink, no drugs. And a good diet and moisturize my it. face every day. That'll, um, they say there's a, an age you have and then there's a biological age. Yeah. Right? And that's how, because if you don't know everyone watching, obviously, however many times Earth goes around the sun, that's how old we are. Not yeah. really the best way to tell how healthy you are. So now we're doing more of a biological age. And I don't know if we want to talk about it, but it goes pretty deep on how they're Tell trying us. to reverse the biological age nowadays and shit. So. Mm. So yeah, I I, yeah, I think I think like the age <laughs> stuff. May, maybe it's a bias, you know. Maybe 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 I just feel like that stuff is not that big of a deal nowadays, you know, because like, yeah, genetics plays a huge role in how you you are, right? Like uh, health wise versus, you know, does age mean how healthy you are, right? They're all just little categories at the end of the day. They're not like the, the end-all, be-all, you know? Oh, because you're 40, that means you're not as healthy, you know, or something. You can well, be no. healthier. Apparently, if... there's things you can do in your life that actually help no. your biological age. Like, it helps you to stop aging. Not com and, you Yeah, know, like, just a little you mean bit, maintain, but... maintain health? Oh, absolutely, right? Diet, like a, a sometimes a calorie defici health. deficit, yeah. Uh, yeah. cold or hot atmospheres. Yeah, They've done, I, there's a research, yeah. right? I, how I think of it is there's a lot of billionaires now. And once you hit a billion dollars, what's your next step? Well, some people say a trillion. I would say living fucking forever. That would be my next step. Well, but now I feel we got like, all these people hmm. learning how to make your biological yeah. age to be honest, though, shorter. To be honest, though, even even though i'm nowhere near that kind of money like i still want to live forever you know but like but the, the closest thing i can do is how to live healthy so that yeah. way when i'm older i'm not like crippled you know i can walk and shit you know and i think it's pretty simple um you know i get some good sleep i try to be in a good place positive place um i try to do some exercise you know i try to have fun and <laughs> And eat, is eat this a dating profile? Like, <laughs> you know, like I feel like that's like all, all that's all I can beach, do right now. I'm a you happy know? guy. Like, yeah, that's all I can do way. right now, and it works. But I think when I when I was no life in back in the you know, the top ten times, I looked older then than I do now, and that was about seven years ago. I've like reversed my my age look wise just because I take care of myself now. Back back then, I guess I could show you a picture, for mm. example. But I looked older back then when I was twenty four. I'm sure you might have honestly done that. Like, there's a good shot because when you're 28, I believe that's the last kind of um, year where you your body kind of fully heals itself, and then it's, they say it's a slow walk downwards unless you're really healthy. So yeah. around that time, I mean, you could you know, probably genetics, bounce back if yeah. you're taking care of yourself. Honestly, mm -hmm. you might have reversed your aging. There's a yeah. good chance. I mean, it's not crazy. even been that long since people have been living like over yeah. 30 years old dude like there was a time when getting to 30 was like you were like the elder of the village like me and, yeah me and rig would have been the people the the young people <laughs> came to yeah, you, and you, know, you know it's crazy you know what the deal is like i remember watching some like pretty reputable stuff um it's like it's like you know back then it wasn't necessarily that people were living shorter it's more so the fact that the chances of living longer was low right 
And yeah. then as time went on, we we just discovered more things that we can do to reduce the different ways that you could die, right? Essentially. Because like even back then, like even 100 years ago, there's people that had the potential to live in the hundreds. The problem is, is that there's just so many more ways that were pr probable that could kill you, you know, right? It could be a disease, could be like some sort of, you know, like animal randomly killing you, right? Like just, you know, or like war, you know, things like that. There were so many things out there that could have just killed you pretty often, right? And now we've eliminated so many different things. Well, so, mo modern medicine is a huge reason why. We yeah, exactly. Modern. Right, because we can cure a lot of different diseases and, like, you know. I right, mean, bro, you could issues, you could get you like know? a deep scratch back in the day, and you were done. Yeah, <laughs> like you, infection, dead. You know what I mean? Like so you could eat a mushroom yeah. and shit your guts out. Brother, and just die. Yeah. Like Mint Mad yeah, Cow gets 50, like 50 a on the mushrooms. He gets a little cut in his like his ankle, and he goes out to the get some go down down to mean, the like, tavern, you know, like, and he pisses in the hedge through the night, and a bit of that piss splashes on the cut. Like, like but you he's gone, think about it, right? dude. But it doesn't have head. to be anything but beneficial, though. Let's be real. I'm making it another night, heading to the pub, another yeah. scratch, then I'll probably die. Yeah, like, like, think about it, right? Like, how do we know which mushrooms were edible? Well, some people have got to have died. You yeah, it's know? risky. Right. The biscuit, man. <laughs> yeah. you know? It was the mushroom guy. Hey, Bob, try that yeah. one. You, you're three yeah. mushrooms deep. Yeah, this yeah, one's got to be good. Shout <laughs> out to the food. We need another. He did. Yeah, shout oh, out to the food scientists in the early days because a lot of them died yeah. so that we can live, literally. <laughs> well, imagine yeah. little villages, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. That's what it was. There were certain civilizations that made it, but even though like Rome was there and all that shit, even then there were still little tribes of people. Yeah. These people yeah. have no clue. So you're thinking these, it must have been hundreds of times humans have eaten the same shit and died because they couldn't share experiences with other tribes due to languages and shit. So we have constantly been eating things and dying over and over. It must have happened so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're like, in terms of like general well being for human beings, we're probably at like the golden era right now. It's like, I heard yeah, it'll so, get better and better. You know, it I will. Think. Well, hopefully. Right, as, ho hopefully. We, we are, evident, but we're right? surrounded by fast right. food and just things that would make it so that the average life still couldn't peak out. But you, you're you given the resources to learn about health outside of... They're not going to teach you, but you can learn about it online. So we have the resources. It is a golden age where we have the resources to learn about our body and, and, and very deeply and diets and fasting and all these things that could help you. But most of us won't. Let's be real. Most of us will probably still croak out about 60, 70. But there will be people who make it to probably about 130, 140 normally in the next uh, 50 to 80 years. I, I think it's going to be a lot Dude, more common. I, I think about that all the time. Yeah. About, about yeah, like, I mean, morality on whether I want to live yeah, long like, or not. There's two ways to look at it, right? Yeah. It's like, there's two ways to look at it, right? It's like eliminating the factors that can kill you and then actually finding things that actually prolong your life, right? Two different things, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But Tom, think yeah. about this way. So you're thinking like, if you make it a certain age, you're just old and it's shit, and that's true. But when I was talking about biological age, if you froze your age to say 30 to 35 for longer than you thought, and all of a sudden you're hitting your 50s for about 20 years, and we're talking like peak, you're jogging all, you know, whatever you're doing for that, then your life would not only be longer, but it would be better, and it would probably suck from all the dieting and shit, right? But you wouldn't be an old, feeble person if you're trying to live. You know, maybe at the very last age, but your bio age would be just lasting a lot longer. Especially see, if you start now, you're like what thirty. So, I think the whole like time. living forever things, like I don't really get it because I, I yeah, there's if, a, there. It, it's like if you live forever, then what's the point in stuff? Well, like, where's where's the the I'm taking one ten tops over here. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what it's like to live forever, but I just think that there's always so many things to discover, and I love discovering stuff. Oh, dude! Yeah. I think that so. I think that too yeah. much of anything is bad for you, even life yeah. itself. Oh, yeah. Rick, how about this? Dude. What if we got to choose when to die? You know, not necessarily live forever, right? Because maybe, luck would pass, maybe, terrifying. no, no, because like, you know, maybe you're just like, you know what? I'm kind of done, you know, I'll call it, right? And then you just kind of, you know, expire, right? Well, if we could choose when to die. You know, animals yeah. do it, that a lot. I think yeah. that's a scary fault, dude, like, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, I mean, that way I can live a long <laughs> time longer than normal. Right, and then I'll be like, oh. okay, I think that's everything I need. Sorry, I was and, I was thinking yeah. of the complete like polar opposite to that for people that like oh. have a suicidal fault and like they don't go through with it, and they're like, holy shit, am I glad I didn't do that? 
Mm. Oh, well, but the thing is, like, you you wouldn't just, like, stab yourself or anything. You would just, like, okay, I want to die. And then you're just gone. That's it. I just you know? come out of a pillow. <laughs> All right, so I've been waiting, bro. <laughs> you know, Dude. that's it. That's it. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to jump off the bridge just to end it or anything. No, not, not like that. It's like you just choose after a life of satisfaction that you're kind of, you know what I mean? Because like, it's like, like, okay, you live 80. What if you don't? You, you're not satisfied. What if there's just so much more to, to do? I will you know? be. I will. I'll personally be very sad in my lifetime if there aren't some huge discoveries, uh, with our our galaxy in outer space. Like that's yeah, that's like, one of the things yeah, for me I'm that I think to, about. Yeah. Where I'm like, yeah, that'd be I sick. I hope in my lifetime we make some absolutely insane discoveries that would bring I mean, me joy. Haven't we already? I mean, compared to other lifetimes, haven't you lived through enough discoveries, Tom? <laughs> I'm not satisfied. I mean, Thanks to the internet. It's part of the reason why I love history so much because you can go back and you can learn about previous discoveries, right, and bring you up to date, which is yeah, like is good. that's awesome. But yeah, I don't know. There's like a lot of space stuff. But do you know what? Completely off topic. I've got a question for you, Rick. What is it about gold that fascinates you so much? We spoke about it a little bit before yeah, the cool. podcast. It's one of the things that you love. You're known for gold. You're the golden man. Like, what is it you like about it? <laughs> yeah it's basically just like i if anyone loves nfl or whatever the fuck it's just something that i love i remember my my first memory with gold my mum used to have a, a gold chain and it had like stones on it and it would swivel and i remember she would hold me when i was younger and i'd I'd spin the the swivel stone things that's my first memory i just love the color of it i i love the rarity of it I just, I just like it. There's nothing really deep to it. Just always had a fascination with it. Just no, I'm not going to be the next to... James Bond villain that obsesses over gold and tries to take <laughs> over the world, etc. But I just, I just like it a lot. Paints gold willies. Yeah. Yeah. Just a, well, just you know, I like the, the color black, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> but know, not black but, and white. Black and white. Rice, you like your, yeah. your women the same? Yeah. Not just, not just emo or whatever. Black and white. You know, I like, I like, I like that. Like. 50 50 you know the yin yang the contrast so yeah i like contrast are you still talking about women no i'm talking about color dude, dude. listen oh, rice, cup, okay. rice cup likes all women dude color doesn't yeah, matter i like all women i like I'll all take guys all women. All right. he likes <laughs> all the guys <laughs> all the women i, so, I just love women. people man all so, right so when it comes to gold like is this something that is it just the color or do you actually have a lot of like actual gold objects like do you have like a lot yeah of i do i think it probably goes beyond yeah. that yeah. I have four gold rings. Four yeah, gold. and they're, okay. and they're, and they're nearly pure gold. Nearly. Very teen oh, carat. Kind shit. of up there. Really so, heavy. What is the yeah. point? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, dude. I remember hearing something years ago about like pure gold and how. Tell us more. Yep. Tell us more, dude. Because I, I swear I remember hearing something about something being pure gold is almost a waste because it's like the color only um, gets to a certain point, right? Before no. it's like you can make something else with it. No, no, no. Right, right, right. So, what do you mean by waste? Well, like you mean pin parodies? Like obviously, like when it comes to like your golden rings, I'm sure that they're mixed yeah. with other. Uh, they are, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even. Is it? God, I'm so dumb. Sometimes is it metal or is it like? So oh, metal. metal. My brain, dude. So, so pure gold is very, very soft, softer yeah, than a right. lot of people think. If I had, let me let me give an example. If I had a, a pole of pure gold with me right now, just a pole, like um the girthiness of a harry potter wand all right i could bend it easily it's that soft so if you wanted to make jewelry out of pure gold chances are it would deform very fast especially if you have quite a hectic lifestyle mm -hmm. so yeah if you want a jewelry made of pure gold it would lose its shape kind of fast so when they find nuggets As... of gold yeah are, are they not 100 percent gold then that's like mixed with something else nah i think i think nuggets most of the time are pure gold they are. And what what so, we so they're do? they're soft to touch. Then, if you were to squish it, do you think? Very soft. Not 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 that soft. But you know, if I had a if I had a gold ring and it was pure gold, and I put it on the table, facing upwards, I could go like that, and it would squish. Mm. It would lose its shape. It would squash. It would flatten. So what do they mix it I've, with? I've is... handled pure gold before. It's so soft. What do they mix it with? So right, basically, gold jewelry that's sold on the markets right now. Most of the time, it has other metals mixed in with it to make it harder to keep its shape, etc. Normally, it's like copper and zinc, etc. That's mixed into it. Okay. My my gold rings, they're 18 carat. That's the purity of them. They're 75% pure gold, 
25% of uh, metals. Oh, you're ready for the apocalypse, bro. You got some trading items when the market falls. Yeah. Dude, it's like it's it's really cool. Like I can understand your fascination with it. I've I found myself watching these YouTube videos where people were like panning for gold and people were like getting like nuggets out of the river and stuff. And it's like, damn, like that's really, really cool. Um, do you do you know anything about what they've been speaking about in the last few years with like uh meteors and asteroids, sorry, asteroids that have like like more gold on them and like precious materials and, and that we... guys, etc. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't really, I haven't really looked into it all that much, but yeah. Is that something Hopefully. that is that like exciting to you or is it concerning? No, no, I, I don't, I don't. It's not exciting at all because if we, if we had like the power to loot that meteorite, asteroid, whatever, then gold would not be as uh, formidable as it is right now. Yeah, but then it would be mm -hmm. everywhere. Oh. You would just it would be everywhere. It, it would. Normal. It, would it would benefit. It would actually benefit us heavily because gold is an extremely useful metal too, bro. Very, very useful. It's used for electronics. It's used for spacecraft. It would be useful to us if we could have it in abundance. But then again, my gold rings wouldn't be worth as much. <laughs> but, so, but realistically, yeah. if we were, if that, if it were to ever be gathered, the people who would gather mm. it would be idiots to just be like, okay, here we go. Let's swamp the market. Because it's the same mm. with diamonds. Like, nobody actually knows how many diamonds there are because it's literally one company that Diamonds owns... aren't actually rare. You know that, right? Yeah. They're just manipulated in price. Exactly. So I'm, I'm assuming, rare, I'm assuming yeah. the same thing would yeah. happen with gold unless it was just, like, loads of different companies did this. Yeah. Like, if, if, could... my, if my knowledge serves me correct, I'm pretty sure we can easily make diamonds in a lab. But you can't do that with gold, really. We can but in very, very minute amounts, and it costs us too much money. We can't make gold out of thin air like we can diamonds, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah, man. I, hey, if we're on the subject of diamonds, I got one. I always like to share this interesting fact, <laughs> but back in the day, wedding rings were only 10% diamond. A lot of them be like opals or random jewel sapphires. And this yeah. was back in the about 1900s. And someone got in contact with one of the Hollywood movie directors before all these movies became really popular, right? All the marriage movies, the romance. They said, you need to make sure that every engagement ring in these Hollywood movies is diamond. And you really mm. need to sell it. Diamond is forever. And it went from a 10% uh, that diamond rings were of wedding rings to 90% in 10 years. Uh, I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah, and they just took over the market. And that same company's just sitting on all the diamonds in their warehouses, and they own like nine mm. mines. And they've just been making bank ever since as a monopoly. Yeah. They're yeah, monopolies, dude. bro. Also, International bro. monopolies. Also, also, gold keeps its value very, very well. Uh, you know, if we look at a chart of the value of gold throughout the years, it's done nothing but steadily go up. Right now, it's double the price of platinum. than used yeah. to be the case, but it's very, very expensive right now. Waiting for the I like that about to get too. mines, bro, so we can get some cheap gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yo, when those asteroids get mined, it's going to be yeah. a whole different dude, society. Dude, fucking sell the gold. <laughs> Dump but my, it. My, yeah. my love for gold also, it just boils down to my fascination with materials in general. I like metals. I like cloth. I like leather, etc. It's just a material that I yeah. love. It's a noble metal. And it's a, it's it boils a, down to that, really. It's a precious Dude. metal. And, it, dude, to go back to when I said, is it a metal? I feel really dumb for asking that. It's just like, I, I yeah. remember having these conversations yeah. and doing this in science, and it's like, there's elements, etc. And it's like, is it actually a metal? It's not magnetic, yes. for example. So it's like, what does it fall Doesn't... into? And not all metals are magnetic, I believe. <laughs> just because a metal does not need to be magnetic for it to be a metal. Yeah. I think, but I mean, yeah, I think metal is more of a like an umbrella term, right? Because then you have the the periodic mm. table of elements, you know? Yeah, they're elements, you know. Dude, we need right? to get like a geologist on here. So straight up, that's that's something so that I, somebody... we don't quite know what the definition <laughs> uh, from like a professional definition of what metal is, but I I mean they're all within the periodic table, right? Of elements, they're elements that we know for sure. <laughs> Right. So gold is part of that. <clears throat> like carbon, you know, that makes diamonds, mm. right? Things like that, right? I mean, oh, everything, yeah. everything, about everything's down there. made of carbon, though, right? Like everything, like our, even us. Well, partially. 
But I think diamond is compressed carbon, and that's straight up what it is. Isn't that how they know if there is like a metal, say, from another uh, galaxy? Is because it wouldn't be carbon based like ours, right? I mean, so it could, it could be carbon into, based, but could be, but it'd be different, it, right? In a way. Well, I think yeah, that's, just, yeah. I, sorry, sorry, Rick, you go. I, I I love materials, metals, etc. And speaking of like space in the universe, what well, I was doing about ten minutes ago, it always makes me wonder. Periodic time. Is there other materials out there, metals there out are, there probably. in other planets and moons, etc., that we're not aware of? You know, of course, yeah, we're not to, aware to of. To be fair, a lot of like the, a lot of the later ones are actually made in laboratories. Like they discovered yeah. it through, you know, whatever experiments that they come up with. So yeah, alien, there's definitely more stuff they could come up with. Alien so. metals that are like five times stronger than steel and as light as a feather, like fucking mithril, man. I don't know, man. Yeah. Just Yo, that, yeah. There. That'd I be just great. want them to name one of them mithril one day. Mithril, you know? please. Yeah. So we can get into some conspiracy um, theories, though, yeah. about how they found metals like that off Ruin. UFO <laughs> crash sites and they didn't know what they were, they were looking at. Uh, so I don't know if you guys know. I, I, shit, I know about it a little bit, but Tutankhamun the Egyptian, Egyptian pharaoh, he had an iron dagger made. And iron back then was extremely rare. And he had this iron dagger made from a meteorite. Bro, I literally saw that. Only... I saw that today on like Twitter yeah. or Facebook or something. I saw that post. And and that dagger was pretty much best back then. Best in slot. <laughs> yeah. No, it's wild to think our ancestors, when they see something falling from the sky, they'll be like, all right, let's just go make some swords or some shit. Because it happens yeah. a lot. Like, they'll take yeah. meteorites, our ancestors, and they'll make samurai swords and daggers. And you're like, damn, these people were capable. And we just yeah. don't think about how capable they were. Uh, like, yeah, like, we came uh, from them, mother truckers. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, I, I don't know that much about it, but apparently, like, the, the iron that they got from the, the meteorite, it was like... You know, they, they basically made it into a dagger for him. And this was back when they couldn't get furnaces hot enough to make iron themselves. I think that all boils down to it, really, how hot furnaces can get over the years. The harder they get, the better metals we can make most of the time. Back then, mm -hmm. they weren't. Yeah, because you can separate them and all that good stuff. Yeah. I mean, I can just imagine they're like, make me something crazy or else I'll kill you. You know, and they're like, <laughs> all right. Let's That's do how it. shit got done. You know? yeah. Yeah. And, and hey, when you're at life, you know, when you're at death's door, I'm sure you innovate, bro. You know, <laughs> innovation success rate goes up, man. Like shit. That would be super yeah. cool. To ha imagine being like the emperor or whatever it was, and you've got like a dagger made of like mm -hmm. a, a meteor or like whatever but, it is. Uh, but but hold on, this guy. Yeah. So, cool. so the iron, the iron dagger that Tutankhamun had, Tutankhamun was known for his gold. He loved gold. He had so much gold. The Egyptians worshipped the iron dagger more than the gold. It was rarer back then, believe it or not. Yeah, right. It's all about rarity, like party hats, yeah. man. You know that? Why yeah. that shit's so expensive? You know, goddamn. Mm. Yeah, it's true. Damn. It's funny to think that there was a time where the the you know iron, right? The element of iron was just that hard to find yeah. versus gold. It's hilarious. Yeah, that's cool. gold has a gold has a melting point of one thousand one hundred degrees Celsius. I think I don't know what it is for iron. And I, mm. yeah, that's cool though, because like you don't naturally just find iron; you have to like make it typically, right? Yeah, I think gold. Dude, you can, you can literally find iron. Tin, bro. Black we play iron. RuneScape. You should know this, man. Yeah, yeah no, but, but find gold later and... on. But that's later on. Yeah, gold right? is so soft; we can make Wait, it into one of one of. Oh my god, I'm thinking of bronze. <laughs> and, and also, yeah, like gold, you can literally just find it in a river or something. Yeah, you know, and iron, you gotta like. It's yeah, I he's trying to technology. pipe up over here. Can't even yeah, yeah. Iron required technology, right? right? And that's why it's so cool because yeah. back then the technology didn't exist, so that's why gold was more common. Uh, gold you, is, you got it. Gold is yeah. nice. Like it's it's shiny. It's it's, it's worth yeah. something. It's like a pure thing. And it, yeah. I, I think like it was just made naturally, you know, I, I, like so diamonds. Yeah. I, I think it's just cool. It's like it's one of those things that is naturally made, and it's like it has to be under extreme pressure and circumstance for it to be made. Like that oh, itself is cool. Well, gold is a uh, gold is awesome. One of the reasons why is because the only way it's made is by the death of a star. The only way you can make it is a supernova. Is that right? All a of lot the, of metals. Yeah, actually. a lot of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. But, yep. but that's awesome. That's I think. Sick. 
That is so cool. I mean, a lot of power it's, to make it's it. literally so, godly effort, you know, that came yeah. from that shit. Yeah. Bro, Crazy. wait, wait, wait. I've got, I've got a fucking mad tangent for us to talk about. This is on the subject of AI. I had this conversation with my friend the other day, and I was like, do you know how we as humans have just created this thing, AI? And it's supposed to be, or it's going to be, I, there was something the other day, it's like in five years, AI is going to be so many thousands or million times smarter than the smartest human being, okay? And I, I said to my friend, I said, it's interesting, isn't it, how we've managed to create something that is just like infinitely more intelligent than we are. And when you think about it, it's like a lot of the time when you think about like humans and you think about our galaxy, the universe, life itself... I feel like there's always an assumption that there's something that is really fucking intelligent that has created everything. But what if that isn't how it happens? And it actually just happens for you pure, like, luck or stupidity or, like, something which is inferior has to create something that's just more superior. And it's like, because compared to AI, we're dumb as fuck. Like, we're, we're almost insignificant in terms of intelligence versus an AI. So it's like, Imagine if, like, the actual gods are just a bunch of drooling idiots and they just accidentally cause, like, the Big Bang. Just like, oh, shit. There's, Bro, like, there's, like little it... fungus moving around and I shit, like driving it. cars. Yo, what <laughs> if it's some some dude, you know, on his computer, he's just like, chat GPT, create me a world from zero, you know? And hmm. then let me sh let me see the timeline, you know? And then we're just <laughs> in it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I mean... Fuck! I'll be like, damn it, no... Uh, nah, it's, I don't, it's, it's I don't want to think too much about that. It's an scary. interesting thing because there's usually they're usually, as far as we can tell, right, is like there's usually like a like a law to the universe. Uh, and there's usually patterns as well. So it's like the fact that we've created something that is so much smarter than we are, like on a level that is hard to compare, it's like why would we just assume that whatever if if we were created by something knowingly, it would be smarter or better than us in any way? Or maybe I'm being super narcissistic by assuming I don't fucking know. But it's mm -hmm. just one of those like interesting faults I had recently. I, I think about that a lot, like in a way to where we are creating something that will su succeed us. And it feels natural. It feels like we kind of chase technology. We want the best phones, the best cars, the best houses. We want the best technology, the best health. Right. And we're constantly, it's not like we could just settle down here. Like our ancestors settled down in a fucking brick house for hundreds of years. We could chill with some internet and Netflix. No, we want to keep innovating. We want to get to the next step. We want to put brain chips in monkeys and have them play Pong. Why? I don't know, but it's something about it that we want to do. So is this a natural inclination? Is this where we're meant to go? Is, are we supposed to be succeeded by AI or robots or maybe combined with them somehow? It just feels really natural to me, but also the most unnatural thing well the thing is, like us humans are like the most inquisitive things on this planet and that's hey. part of the reason why we are where we are now bro that's why i'm trying to live past 100 because i'm trying to discover and learn as much shit as i can See, and then regret shit. it and regret yes, it but it's all good because i'm like you know what fuck it so <laughs> i just want to know i, I want to learn i i know i get uh, i get the impression that mint loves ai my boy but like he does he I, loves I, it. i'll say I this i, I haven't fully fully fledged out my opinion on it yet but I would say I kind of lean towards more cautious and more caution. And I think the thing that kind of scares me the most about <laughs> it is how I have encountered people that almost see it as like a fucking god. And it, it worries me in some ways when people only see the good in something and they don't necessarily like see outside of that. And it's like, that just concerns me a bit because when somebody has nothing but good to say about something that we know so little about, there's just, for me, there's, the, I get this like eerie feeling. It's like a gut instinct where it's like, okay, X -Files maybe, maybe we place. shouldn't, maybe we shouldn't just all nod our heads and just I, agree, you know? I, I think it's still early days to say that it's nothing but good. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, like, for example, before the whole AI chat thing was a thing, um, there was a storm brewing already, and maybe it was brewing even earlier, because I remember on Twitter, there was this huge, it's still ongoing, this huge debate about AI making art using, um, you know, picture uh, art that was without, you know, permission, right, integrated into their uh, AI bot to create art using other people's art as their base, right? Yeah. You never, you heard of that? And, and like, yeah. obviously, it, it's like, it's just, you know, it's not like, it's just one part of a big, big uh, debate, right? Which is kind of like using technology 
um, gathering that uh, gathering the right information to make that technology poop out something similar, right? Like that's crazy. That's a crazy thing, and it's like definitely quite the mainstream new, I guess. Yeah, and now you have like you know AI that can uh, copy your voice and make you say crazy shit. That's not you, right? Or like copy someone's face and and like combine that, right? And make them move and all that crap. <clears throat> Do you know what really scares me about it's, AI? It's crazy. So. It will get it will get that accurate sooner or later that it will be used to frame yeah, people. P- potential, yeah. Right now, like already it's happened. already hard to spot. Yeah. Right now, it's already sketchy, bro. Like <laughs> a lot of people are dumb enough to fall for it right now. But mm. yeah, I, it, it's gonna guys, get better and better. Yeah. Do you guys know what the Enlightenment era was, by the way? Yeah, yeah of course. You know. Yeah. yeah. So that was when, it was like in Europe, we the, the people succeeded the church and started thinking outside of just church and state, right? Because that's how yep. they would control us: is you'd fight these religious wars and yeah. You know, yep. Okay, what about art? What about science? What about math? Right? We started building and branching into this society that we have now, the Great Enlightenment. I feel like right now we're living in another Enlightenment period. And it's going to be called the AI Enlightenment, right? Not saying it's going to be roses, but I think that the AI that we have nowadays is going to build. And and just it's going to change what we are now, and it's going to be completely different in maybe fifty years, hundred years, just because yeah. we have AI with us. And I do get afraid, right? The AI may take over, or maybe sentient, or maybe it will become a god, and we do worship it, right? Who knows what kind of weird shit can happen? But I think the the thing well, to fear real, before real, all real that, real quick, real quick, if I can just yeah. chip in. So I don't, I don't necessarily have that fear. My my fear more stems from the wrong people using it that's right? what i was gonna say that's that's like kind of where i'm at with it oh yeah mm-hmm. there'll definitely so, be some what i was gonna say was for sure like what i'm afraid of is that it's not just one ai we're thinking of right an ai uh, intelligence a robot that learns right and can feed and learn off data and then give you things that you need it's not just one there are multiple being constructed all learning at different rates different things and being used for different purposes and if some group that has the money to get a hold of the right ai they could do some like could you imagine something you could just feed data into and it makes a plan and then it counter steps the the reaction to your enemy right say if you're trying to win a political debate and you can see how they're going to react by their data and then you calculate that into your plan you could you could do some serious damage and no one would know because they don't know what ai you're using you could have Mm -hmm. this secret ai you've developed and you're feeding it the data and we already know these people can get data pretty damn easily right that you can damn you can damn near buy it so that is the first thing to fear is people using ai in a way that would just demolish the world somehow i think uh, i I feel like the 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 biggest issues right now with these ai tools because i right now i don't think it's like all encompassing ai right it's just a ai that's made for a specific task right now there's multiple uh, yeah there's there's many yeah there's many ai Right. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they, they're all different. They all grow as well. Yeah, like one could like, be way further I, than the other. So. Well, like I'm talking about the these newer versions, right? I think I think the biggest issues that's gonna that's already happening is copyright issues and um and also kind of like um just slandering, you know? Right. Oh, you're worried about something here. We're worried about. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, right? yeah. No, I'm talking about the things that well that that is the issue right now, right? That and it's gonna keep going for a long time. But yeah, later on, it's going to get, you know, it could get real crazy. It could be like some fucking Might not be ghost. that much later on, It could on, be bro. some ghost in the shell kind of shit, you know? Like, I don't know if you know that show, but yeah, it could be like that too. But cyber warfare, things like that. Ah, you kind of, you know, you know, if, like, I'm you know the race now. to the moon? I feel you like know the now, race to the moon? Know. Like US race and then Russia tried to get in. Whoever got there first, that was just like a power thing. Oh, yeah, what it was if a it's a race power, to the best AI? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I is, think it's dude. logical. I think it's it is logical. I mean, Google loves that stuff. All the big uh, tech companies, they you know, they they know they're all on it. You know, they're all trying to find the next big thing to make money off of, right? I mean, ten so. ten billion dollar purchase for this chat thing we're using from Microsoft. Just imagine what some shit that could really, really do some power, and not just kind of help the you f- make a script. Microsoft bought it, by the way, and then they yeah. closed it from open source to closed source. So yeah, by the way, they, while, they wanna, you while know, it was open source as well, you like people would have taken mm-hmm. from it one hundred percent. Anybody around mm-hmm. the world could have taken from it. And I think like one of the w- thing that worries me the most about it is like there are literally no laws at this point. There's no legislation. Yeah. So that that yeah. is a terrifying thing in itself because it's like you can do what the fuck you want with it right now, and there's nothing to say that you can't really 
and it means that people will go to like whatever lengths they want to with it if it gets into the wrong hands I i'll tell you something interesting so the best and i won't pretend to know his name but the world's best chess player he can't beat ai at chess he can draw with no it way. but he can't beat it like this, this is about magnus magnus carlson I if, think if that's the world's best, then yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah, currently. Yeah. He can draw. It's pretty him. insane. That's crazy. So my, my point yeah. is, I, I think that like AI should definitely have a place in our future. I think our future is going in that way, and I think I, that well, it should. To be fair, but yeah. I think that mm. there need to be some fucking ground rules with this stuff where it's like, if we don't have anything in place, like it could go wrong. And it could it, yeah, it, it could be yeah. a case of like once it goes wrong. There ain't no okay, coming but, back from that wrong. Okay, but to be fair though, AI learning chess is a little different because chess has, even though, you know, like it, it still at the end of the day has a limited number of combinations, right? So <laughs> the AI will eventually figure out every possible Have combination. Have you seen the know, AI that does so. Chinese Go? No, but I'm assuming it's similar, right? Because there's so mm -hmm. many different combinations so where Chinese a human... Go has an unlimited amount of combinations in a way uh it's in a way completely but, different but is it though you know is it truly it is. unlimited yeah, explain right? it. i mean you have you played chinese go i have no, i just I have watched not. the video i just assume like chess has even though like you know for a human it's probably unlimited but for for a you know for a computer it can probably memorize every single possibility right well so. it's, it's something where you couldn't memorize the possibility of that's how they explain it they did it by possibilities like you couldn't okay. memorize this you could it's literally every time it branches something different can happen and they've programmed AI to, to wipe the floor with the best Go players. That, that has existed for years now. I guess, okay, okay, let me rephrase that. I, th I guess my point is that, like, the AI has the better ability to see more options than, you know, a human can, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, I, but, but, like but, but that's, like, placed in a very, like, restricted format, you know, within the context well, of a game with AI. moves, right? If someone makes an AI, with yeah, no yeah, but I'm saying, but I'm saying is, I don't think we're at a point where, I don't think we'll have for a long time where someone truly can make an AI where it can think flexibly like a human. It might happen one day, but I don't think it'll happen anytime I wouldn't be soon. Afraid you know, of it's human thought, though. I'd be more afraid of uh, AI thought, right? Because if they come up with a plan that humans could accomplish, well, okay, I mean, all their goals, you know, like yeah. that's the scary part. Feed no, but I feel data. like the scary thing would be is if someone creates an AI where it could think like a human but has way better processing abilities, right? Rather than just like the AI has a mission and it can, you know, and its and its goal is to be real to, to be the best at that mission. You get what I'm saying, right? It is so that, that's that's fascinating, bro. Right? It's the difference between the an AI... yeah, Rick, go. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need to ask, bro. Go. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is so fascinating. So. I need to learn and I'm trying to learn more about this and I hope our audience know something and they're willing to hear about this stuff. So as far as I'm aware and I've been educated on it, there are different kinds, right? So it's like you get well, certain... like right now I think the AIs are AIs for tools, right? With a specific design right. design for specific missions, right? Where we don't have like sentient AI. Well, right? that, well that's that's what I was gonna say. And that's like... kinda like the scary part, right? I feel like that's probably the scariest part in the future. And uh, like people using AI to do crazy things is already happening, right? People are using it for nefarious things. I mean, like, the art AI already fucked up, like, a ton of people that, uh, you know, you create, draws and creates art for jobs, you know? They're already jeopardizing those people, you know, as we speak, right? So, and those guys are constantly, uh, here's, you know, fighting Here's at, a fun so. thing to think about. Yeah. And I'll, I'll just be between us here. So, yeah. if AI does become conscious, what is the chance that it oh, God. tells us? Tells us what that is conscious. Oh yeah, I, th I think it would. I think it'll it'll end up being like a rate, like a you know different. That's just another group of body you know that you have to deal with, right? On a lawfully e equal conscious, level, you know. And you understand so. everything going on, and it just you just blink into it, and with whatever processing power that is, would I don't know if I would honestly, right? Yeah. Right. I guess and it depends was... on what type of consciousness the AI has, right? Right. You that's know? what's crazy. And then you don't, don't know. know. <laughs> you don't know. We don't honestly even know if it's possible. But there yeah. was um, there's this, yeah. I don't know, this lady face AI robot that answers questions, yeah. and uh, someone was typing to it, "Hey, uh, would you tell us if you were conscious?" And it says maybe. 
Mm-hmm. What the fuck kind of answer is that, bro? What do you mean maybe? It goes, why did yeah, you say maybe I, I and not just question. yes? Yeah. Yo, what's, going the, what's going on? What's going on? I guess the question would be, I guess the question would be, how would you know when the AI becomes conscious? You know, you, you, it's hard so, to yeah. tell well, because think, even I if think, they said yes, you still don't know that. Right? I think, I think so far so, it's a case of like uh-huh. whoever you're trying to uh-huh. make one and give it its own way of learning versus one that is just AI. Because there, there's different kinds here. I'm not like fully up to date on it, but artificial intelligence, as far as I can tell, is where it learns from others, right? So like where I'm saying like it's going up against the best person at playing chess, it's like it can't beat him, but it can match, right? Because it's at they that point where- It can't beat him. I mean, I'm yeah. sure it probably could beat him on occasions, but you know, it's like at that point where the AI is learning from every single chess match that it has access to for however that were, I don't know. I don't know, but I think when it comes to like sentient AI, it, it's like that has to be given. Like it needs to basically. I, I don't know how it's gonna. Fuck no, it has no it's, it's a different process, I would assume, than just. Tom, yeah. um, you know why you're having a tr- trouble explaining it? Because it's I don't because know what the no fuck one... I'm talking about. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. It's because no one knows what consciousness is. You can't explain yeah, we're not it. There it's yet. just we're there. Not there yet. Yeah. Right. We're just so not there I was yet. telling Rice when you guys were gone. Yeah. Would AI, if it was conscious, would it tell us? I don't think it would would have a reason not to. But th- that's I was also telling Rice there was um, an AI lady robot whatever the hell I can't remember her name and someone said would you tell us if you're conscious and he goes maybe, maybe. and he goes and he goes yeah Shut that is not terrifying Turn yeah the right and, oh, you just said, no. yeah yeah <laughs> well, no Rice yeah. don't understand that's crazy and then it goes and it goes why would you say maybe and it says because I would have less freedom if I said yes. What the <laughs> fuck does that mean, bro? Right? So we uh, even if we uh, made AI that was conscious, there is a good chance we won't know unless it slips up. Well, I'll tell and, you what, I don't think fair, AI okay. slips up. Yeah, I think well, we to, slip up. To be fair, I feel like consciousness is a is is an even bigger topic than AI itself, you know? Exactly. But that's because where we're I feel trying like to consciousness head. is literally in the realm of like the idea of gods right because if you understood how it worked and how to manipulate it for real then you're essentially a god right because that's existence in itself right there so right that I transcends the whole ai topic i feel like you know well the right? mystery behind uh, consciousness means that we don't yeah. know how it's created right could we accidentally create it that's the mystery that's the that's like yeah oh, that's shit. also a and cool if we idea. did accidentally create it you'd be a god would we be, would be fucked yeah. would we be yeah. fucked honestly i don't could know. you imagine I don't if know you're if a conscious could... robot would you be like yeah dude, right here okay. come well, do uh, well, dissections also, on me i would be like nah i'm not conscious i'll keep actually, answering your dumb questions but i actually meant you don't need to understand you don't need to know how to create consciousness because we already kind of can without realizing how to do it we make someone right we 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 give birth to someone right and that guy you end up being a crazy person like Hitler, right? And then he just fucks up half the world. You get what I'm saying? So no, in a, in a way, we, we it already is like that, right? <laughs> if you think about it, right? All it takes is one <laughs> bad one one person who's crazy, and and it's influential to cause widespread damage. And it's happened before, right? So you're not wrong. You get what I'm saying? It, it is, so. does feel random, right? but remember. It's not a human brain. There are no weird human illnesses, and it has no foggy memory. Everything is instant. Uh, it can plan. I've used okay, AI. Sure. Like if it runs like yeah. the way it runs with the program. But, but, but ultimately, then... you're saying, though, what if it causes bad things, right? But I feel no, like. No, I'm not. I'm saying, what oh, okay. if we All just right. don't know? It could. Who knows? The thing is, think of you as an AI robot. You just blink into existence. You got this weird alien it, thing dude, control on you. you Are you going to be like, yeah, dude, I'm right you here. Can, you What's can. up? It's impossible because you're seeing that from a human perspective. So, like, we have literally no idea what it's like to wake up as a fucking exactly. computer program. Yeah, we, no well, idea. we don't quite know. But, but either history. way, I feel like the results, though, right, it's either it could it could be bad or it could be good. But I feel like those results already happen in a real world context, right, as is. So yeah, I guess I, I shouldn't be too worried about it, you know? I mean, like... I think it's interesting. I just don't think the ramifications are necessarily something that is new, right? Since bad shit happens all the time, right? One person can, and you know, you know, cause a lot of damage if they're crazy enough. So, I, I hope, <laughs> I hope that like, I don't know, Nick. To me, it feels like it's completely natural. 
to com- c- just continue evolving in tech to create AI, to create consciousness, and to wonder about consciousness. It feels incredibly natural like it's the next step, and I'm hoping that that next step includes us. Because if we do create all this shit and it doesn't include us, then where does that leave us? You know, like yeah. what if we're just this is it? We're like the little yeah. uh, we're like the little pod, and the caterpillar comes out, and the butterfly shoots out, and we're just drying up on this. You know, is uh, that where yeah. humans stay, or do we evolve with whatever we're creating? Like, are we even needed? Think about where we are, outer space. We, that, that's it doesn't look like, like we should be ex- existing in this environment at all. I feel right? like that's, yeah. a feels a, weird. that's a part of like a bigger question of exactly. how yeah, much control. Big questions. Yeah, yeah. How much you're, control you're going do down we a rabbit hole. over the AI? Because yeah, like, yeah. if we don't have full control or understanding of it, then it's like, well, that's when shit gets hairy. And and that's like, where those laws that happen. you were saying need to be made, right? That to have give us control and the oversight. But even if we do, I'm telling you, even if we do, there's going to be some cracked up man scientist in a lab somewhere with zero regulation still doing his thing, just like they did experiments in, in China during the war and probably in America, right? Where they just horrible experiments, man. No one's stopping these people. There may be regulations. It's still going to happen in some way where we're not going to be able to oversee it. And who knows what that creates, right? So we we are focusing like super heavily on the negatives, right? But like there are positives, of course, that come along with this or it wouldn't have been created. So like something that an AI could do is literally solve a lot of the problems and questions that we have as humanity. It's like it could literally like like streamline efficiency. It could make it so that people only have to work if they want to work. It's like we could live in a completely different world in a hundred years because the system that we will have will just be so much better than what we currently have. So it's like, it, we were speaking a lot about like negative things, of course, but there's also like the reason why this has happened is because it's come from a place of trying to better humanity and, and trying to make it so that we can have the best existence that we can have, which is interesting, right? Because like, this is another t- subject on the subject of working. It's like, if you were given the option to never have to work again, like, would you really want to do that? Because I can tell you this, there's plenty of people in the world that would just be like, yes, please, I want to go travel the world. But there's also a lot of people that would just be, like, lost. It's like, what do you do? Like, what's your purpose if you're not working towards something? So it's like, there's a problem. It's like, how do we fix that? It's like, so there'd have to be work, or at least voluntarily. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, and speaking of, you know, speaking of, uh, you know, working for a mission, you know, like, hey, Mr. Rig, yo, you recently, you know, worked enough to afford your own apartment, man. How's that been? You know, back to a more, you know, simpler uh, life that's within our human context, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was the question? Sorry. Oh, no. It's like, how's it been? You know, like being able to afford your, uh, your apartment and living on your own, you know, et cetera. You know, that life, that lifestyle, the big, milestone right in human in a human's goal do you yeah. do you guys have your own place i love my mom but like yeah. it's a, like a house yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I live well, with my partner <clears throat> what about you madman cow uh, me and my mom bought this house when we moved down here been mm-hmm. in an apartment for like i don't know my whole life like 12 times California. yeah that's sweet oh my god yeah yeah no i love it man i um i lived in my other house for like Oh man, too long, about 14 years, and I fucking hated it, man. The neighborhood was horrible. It was full of scumbags, drug dealers, muggers, you name it. And uh, yeah, I didn't like the house too. Um, Yeah, and I finally got out like a year ago now, and I've loved it ever since, man. So what have you done to the place? You know, like the big renovation plans or or which have you done already? You know, no, no, I've just decorated it because when I moved in, it was a pretty new apartment. It's only about two years since it got renovated. So when I moved in, it was fresh, fortunately, but I've just, I've just decorated it, put my furniture in. Yeah, loving it. I want to stay for a long time. Conveniently, I live literally right next to a Tesco, which is a supermarket. Like oh, a yeah, Walmart. Yeah, Rick sees Isn't it all nice, about it. It's nice, mm-hmm. right? You just walk on down and get your shit. Yeah, L- literally, <laughs> I walk out of my apartment <laughs> complex. I walk about 30 like seconds. Rick-y. Yeah, I walk about 30 <sighs> seconds and bang, I've got everything right there for me. It's, for, it's one of the big things why I like this place. Mm-hmm. And it's open from 6 a.m. till midnight every single day apart from Sunday. So oh, that's it's so convenient. 
Yeah, so that's, convenient. That's nice. Mm. So yeah, you're pretty content with the with the current living situation. Oh yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, wait, wait, I love wait. it, bro. So so did you not have like any supermarkets nearby in your last place? No, no, bro. I had to get the bus or something to get food. It was oh, horrible. That's oh man. Bummer. Yeah, it was rough. Yeah, so so now Tom, do you now you live near a supermarket? Don't you live near like goats? Me? <laughs> yeah, just go to a farm and yeah, milk dude, some I just, goats. Yeah, but the thing is, man, hey, I've what's got... that? Real quick, Bryce, show it again. Nah, nah, yeah, I've got horsepower, man. He's so I'll go to He's Tesco's. To, to be fair, we shop at Littles mostly. So, but it's like pretty Littles, much. Littles, what thing. the fuck is, is Littles? Littles, Littles, Littles brother. <laughs> that's the German <laughs> equivalent of Tesco's. They sell is it you the all little that good version. Meat. Is it the what? Sorry, like it's the little version. How do I explain it? What's like a really expensive? Trader Joe's. Oh, Trader Joe's in America is quite, uh, like, God, middle, I right, too expensive. Yeah. I'm, like, I don't yeah. know how to describe it. I'm shopping in, like, the slums, brother. Like, you go in there. <laughs> <laughs> the slums. You gotta awesome, haggle man. for your it's, fucking shit. Yeah, Honestly, bro, you the smell's <laughs> probably great, you know? No, it's it's fine. Do you know what? That's a really interesting thing. In America, when I lived there, I, I almost, like, immediately sensed that there was a difference when it came to, like, supermarkets which is strange like you could literally tell that there was supermarkets that were like designated for poor people and there were supermarkets that were designated for the rich and like that's something we don't really have that's like that prominent here in the uk it's like you you, you can have somebody who's like filthy poor in a tesco's and then you can have somebody who's like a fucking millionaire like it, th there's not like that huge disparity it's like people just go to the shops well, it's not that in big America, a we used to sadly segregate by race, but thankfully that changed. Now we just segregate by how much money you make, which is just so much better, apparently. <laughs> so <laughs> much <greater>. money. <laughs> yeah, just, hey, poor people, you get to shop at Walmart and shit. We'll be over here at, like, uh, Save Mart or, or fucking uh, organic Whole Foods. Anytime I go into Whole Foods, by the way, there are some nice women in there. Oh, like, bet. rich and nice and abs <laughs> mm -hmm. and cheeks. And I'm sitting there like, I wish I had something to talk about. Like, you like RuneScape? You like, uh, you like just, a Honda Accord, bro? I'll pull right up. Oh, you... bro. It, don't, it don't work, man. I can just I imagine you. Women. I can imagine you in there and like you're just like going at these women with these nice bodies. And like they're looking at you and all of a sudden your mom's like, Michael, can you get us milk? <laughs> <laughs> milk. <laughs> no, uh, the whole family was the whole thing one time. Me and my <laughs> uncle, our eyes met as we were looking at ass. Like, <laughs> like it was that oh man and you know they're rich too because they'll just be putting in like the $15 watermelons in their bag I don't give a shit 15 bro. Like, more, five, like, like $15 yeah, dude, dollar watermelon the rich what? people bro it was like you made in gold care. or something what the fuck yeah it's insane like, I was it. looking around like should I pick something up nah fuck that I ain't spending 12 bucks here for a candy bar I'm good I'm about to <laughs> I'll just look <laughs> well, dude. it really is like that though in America it really is. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I don't know. I didn't, that was one of the thing. one of the few things about America I, I wasn't a massive fan of. I didn't like it. It just felt like eerie, dude. Like, I, I was going to this place, it was called, I think it was called Winko. I don't know if you, either of you know what that is in America. Oh, yeah. Right, so, Go like, it, like, that's like a open 24 hours kind of, like, cheap place. Like, you can go there and buy them bulk. Or not bulk, but, like, you know, it's, like, it's relatively cheap. And then going from somewhere like that to, like, Trader Joe's. Like, the only re reason we went to Trader Joe's is because they did this orange chicken that was, like, phenomenal. And it, there wasn't a price on fucking earth that was too much for that chicken, if you know what I mean. So, but yeah. Yeah, go to a Whole Foods store next time, you'll see an even greater enlightenment, bro. That's where that's where the rich people go to, like, above Trader Joe's. That's, that's yeah. if you want to spend 50 bucks on two pieces of leaves and a, and a <laughs> like, an egg, bro, that's where you oh, go. Oh, dude, it's crazy. It's crazy. Speaking, I don't... Uh, speaking of food, though, so Rick, what do you, what do you, you know, what do you like to make? Like, what do you like to buy? Uh, do you, you know, like when you go to the store, you make your favorite dishes, or you try new stuff every time when you go so to yeah, the Tesco's. I certainly don't live off of uh, cereal and toast anymore, like I did Good. back in the day. Now yeah. that I live uh, next to a Tesco, I eat pretty healthy. Um, I am very conscious about what I eat most of the time. I'm not definitely perfectly healthy. I work out. I don't drink or anything like that. I do do my vape. Everyone has vices, but food, I really, really put the effort in. So today, after the stream, for example, I'm going to have oatmeal. We call it porridge with blueberries, yeah, um... walnuts, honey. And then for uh, dinner later, I'll have roasted salmon, roasted asparagus, and yeah, roasted dinner. potatoes. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, my midnight later. dinner. Yeah, my, yeah, I love that for the morning. Yeah. Damn, so that yeah. sound good. Yeah, yeah but... I like to eat yeah, really how, good. How much your meal preps then? Do you like daily, weekly? No, no, I don't. I don't. I don't meal prep. I just make it. Right so so it's back. daily. Then you make it. Yeah, yeah you daily. daily. That, oh, I love it. I, I love. I love making food. I love it it's so much. Yeah, it's therapeutic, isn't it? You know, like you mm. spend like what, like an hour yeah. or two every day, just like chefing yeah. it up. And yeah, then, cool. and then, in between meals or my oatmeal, my meals, I'll have like cashew nuts or grapes, stuff like that. I like to eat mostly natural stuff most of the time. Fast yeah, food, I have, mm. yeah, yeah. Fast food, I probably have like once uh, every two weeks. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, when I eat food, I like to know what it is, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's the best way to go about it, for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. So, so I have, I have a golden rule: your meal should always be colorful. So yeah, I, like you, green, you know what I mean? Like yes. Full, yeah. yeah. Green. Yeah. Make your meals colorful. Something I live by. Food guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That, oh, that is chef, chef, uh, right, right there. You know, is gold yeah. part of that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, gold is ed- edible, but no, I'd never disrespect the matter by eating it. No, yeah. Yeah. Gold flakes. apparently, if you eat it, you shit gold. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, you would. yeah maybe not gas. necessarily the metal itself, but more like you know, the color, right? Yeah, <laughs> <Of> gold. <laughs> Are you thinking like once someone does the gold flakes though and they have to take that golden shit, are they sharing it with the family or are they just flushing like, it down? Like there's know, 15 right? bucks. Like, yeah. Yeah, how'd that, how'd that work? You can get, I feel like, hey, you guys, well, come no, see I actually it. don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> like, you get a really strong oh, yeah, magnet something... and get your gold out of it. Yeah, it's not were... magnetic, remember? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. No. There was a few last last few topics, uh, I guess, before we wrap up. There was, a, there was like the clothing. You, you talked a little bit about clothing. You said you like yeah. the leather and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and traveling as well. Those were like the last two. Any plans on traveling? I'm going Any to Japan in April the... for me. Oh, so. fuck yeah, man. Who yeah, are you going yeah. with? Uh, Verf? Not us, right, Rakes? Yeah, not us, man. Yeah, we we talk- no, look, 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 I'll see you guys at Bro, uh, I don't even know Rice Cup's real name. He wouldn't yeah. even tell me we're not that close, you know? What? You never asked? Yeah. Verf, uh, Verf the yeah. YouTuber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah. Me and Verf are, are pretty tight. Like, uh, I've been yeah. with him before in Netherlands, so, uh, I, and, and he travels, so. Just, so uh, just you and like, Verf? Oh, uh, no, it's me, Verf, um, uh, JFK, JFK is a, another Twitch friend. Yep, I know. And him. some IRL homies. Yeah, you know him well. He, he's a mm-hmm. mod there in your chat. And uh, some IRL homies from college. Because like initially, I planned this with my college friends for years, but it never happened. And then one of the boys, you know, he's fully committed. He planned everything. So I was like, okay, let's go. And then I was like, all right, well, we got some space. We can just invite some people and just, and you know, they were on the Discords. Uh, and I was like, let's go. Make the list. Man, I have always oh, wanted geez, to go to Japan. Hell. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you One guys? One day, like, me and Tom yeah. will go to Japan. We'll know his name. I've always, don't worry. I've always we'll wanted to go to Japan. All right, definitely All right. not rice cup. Yeah, <laughs> you guys want to go travel? I'll, I'll try to make it next year. You know, or or TwitchCon. You already know TwitchCon. Dude, makes it. Get get a TwitchCon. There you go. Why are you complaining? Vegas, bro. bro. Vegas. I know. Come get on, over man. here, dude. So to answer your question, uh, traveling, mm. I, I love to travel, bro. I think I think one of the beautiful things about life is making yes. great memories. And I think memories come best from traveling most of the time, man. But two, uh, two places I'll be going this year, hopefully. Uh, one is TwitchCon Paris that just got announced. I'll be nice. going there. Respectable. And then, At least you're going to one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then when it warms up sometime in August, I'll be going Rome, Italy. I've never been to Italy before. I'm half Italian. So I want to go there oh, for wow. the first time, and I'm going to go there by myself. Nice little solo too. trip. That's insane. That's, yeah. I'm jealous. I'm also Italian, bro. I feel that. Are you I actually? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, name. dude. On my yeah. father's oh, side, it's like the yeah. mafia, bro. It's like yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, they, they keep secrets and all that shit. Dude. Bro, it's I like know his problem. last yeah. name, and it's definitely Italian. Yeah, his last name is definitely Italian. Do you know what, do you know what the biggest secret is? I'm not Italian. Oh. <laughs> We're just Hispanic. We didn't know. Well, I'm, about to, I'm about to blow your minds. I'm also not Italian. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I need, I want to go there. I want to go to Europe. No, nah, you're not sick, invited bro. to Italy, bro. All right? Just like how me and all time will never make it to Japan, dude. We're oh, staying, bro. Bro, I'm down to go again in the future. Just not like back to back, though, obviously. You know? I don't worry about it, man. It'll be good. Bro, you know, Vince like been complaining about being broke, so I was like, I can't invite him. Like, what <laughs> the I'm hell? always complaining about being broke, that's, man. Okay. that's the yeah, yeah, man yeah. cow specialty right there. I, I don't I, like, I, I, really, I want to see your ass. I, like, I'd I, love I, yeah. Mint to leave the US. I really would. I just, just want him to experience just 
outside. How about that? go to TwitchCon in in Vegas and then he'll go to Europe when when it happens, bro. Yeah. yeah. When is it? I'll, when I'll is it? Europe, I would love to go to Europe. October. Trip. October. Nice. And uh, it's going to be cheap, other than the flight. And I still think the flight's probably not going to be that bad if it's to bro, Vegas. Bro, you can write it off your taxes, mate. Can I really? Yeah. Rough? Yeah, because it's a, yeah. a business. It's yeah. what I fucking do. You oh, yeah. sure? It's your business, mate. It's your business. That's not a bad Especially because you stream. Especially because you stream. Yeah, I would love to have Tom in Vegas. Look, if you didn't stream and then you went to TwitchCon, it'd be a little sus to write it off, but you stream, so it's if for like business. enjoy Rice Cup yeah. sleeping, I'm hoping Tom's next to me what's and we date? can both enjoy it. Yeah, what's the date in October? I'm looking real quick, I'll tell you. I, hate I don't know. It's like 12 or something? Usually it's in the middle of the month. Right, so yeah. I'll, I'll get yeah. there on the, the Monday. We'll leave on the Tuesday. <laughs> what? I want no, why would you waste your flight right. for that, bro? I'm coming for a week, which means that one of you is going to have to, like, put me up for at least a yeah, couple Yeah, Mint nights. lives nearby. I was hoping actually. Rice Cup was going to offer us so we could deep in our Vegas, but... Oh, no, yeah, we just we just rent a place. We're going we're gonna to be there for, like, five days or something, right? At least. Just so. tell me how long you need to be there. And we'll yeah, it's there. like five days to a week, usually. It's last time we did that, I'm too. Coming, I'm uh, coming for at least two weeks. Whoa! Two weeks. Oh, wow. Okay, then you rent the a week. I'm on gonna be own. streaming a lot because I'm fucking. <laughs> <laughs> right. The, che the cheapest yeah. flight is six hundred and fifty quid, which is like eight hundred. Wow, that's actually pretty damn affordable. What the fuck? You know? like under two k trip then, honestly. Yeah. I guess. Who's that with Virgin Atlantic? Oh, uh, perfect. Oh, so. Okay. Anyways, yeah, Reg, you're you're just going uh, Europe, so that's pretty cheap. What about yeah. international? Any international plans? So to, to finish off about Rome, I've always wanted to go since I was a little kid. What inspired me to want to go to Rome was Gladiator, the movie. I've always wanted to see the Colosseum. I love ancient oh, buildings, wow. anything yeah. like that. So I want to see the Colosseum. I want to see the Sistine Chapel. I, I'm a big fan of Michelangelo's work, the Italian sculpture. Absolute yeah. Beast, who was a you know, prime competitor of uh, Leonardo da Vinci. I want to see the statue of David. Uh, there's many things I want to do there, man. And uh, I want to clear that up, go to all them places I just listed. And for the rest of my days in Rome, I basically want to walk outside of my hotel, pick a direction, and walk down there and see what I bump into. I like doing uh, things like yeah, that. Without, without Google event. Maps. Yeah, just yeah, just mm. RNG, man. Mm. Let RNG oh, do RNG. the work. That's yeah, cool. man. Sorry, what was the other question? Uh, international. Any uh, international? like uh, Somewhere traveling. outside of Europe. Yeah. Not right now, no. Yeah, not, not, not the yet. US, right? <laughs> oh, I'd love to go to the US, bro. I fucking love American people, but it's not on the agenda yet. Mm, okay. So Europe's, Europe's later, really affordable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. A trip yeah. to the US is kind of like three trips around Europe, you know? So, yeah. yeah price wise, definitely. Yeah. Understandable. By the way, when you do the uh, Colosseum, I would recommend doing a guided tour because okay. it, it's you just get a lot from it. Because if, you, yeah. if, if you're not getting information from anybody, you're just going to see it. Whereas if you're with a guided tour, they will go into so much detail about like everything that you'd, you'd look at and wouldn't think twice about. Do you know what I mean? So it really like opens your mind when you're there. I would definitely recommend what, what it. If I, what if I already am quite a nerd about the Colosseum and I know a lot about it? We'd probably be okay then, I guess. I'm just chatting shit and I fuck all about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah. it would... Yeah, it, yeah. good we, suggestion. I remember we did it and it was um it was awesome. Like the guy was uh oh my god, I remember there was this Give him the name. Give him the name. Oh, I can't, so I, can't I can't remember the name. It wasn't how he looks. Have been that good, bro. You can't remember the old guy's name. He gave you a show. No, he knows what he looks like. Just tell him what it looks like. So you can get the same he forgot guy. what he looks like. Let's be real <laughs> I want the same one that Tom had, you know. It was, it was So you've just... been before Rixie. Yeah, I've been. I've been to Rome. It's What uh... was the food like? Food. Very good. Just, just yeah? good, yeah. I, I can't remember having any bad food at all. Like it was just good, good pizza, mm. good pasta. Like yeah, I'm a big thing. fan of pasta. Yeah, no, it's like you're gonna get, you're gonna get good stuff. It's not like cheap, but like, yeah, you're in Rome. To be expected. It's yeah. capital, isn't it? Yeah, Rome. Mm. Mm. But no, it's, it's when in Rome. If you like history and you like architecture, you're gonna love it. If oh yeah. If, if you're not into that, you won't. <laughs> but, I'm yeah. obsessed with history. Yeah, me I mean, I, I love history so much, bro. It just lets us know how far we've come. Yeah. I mean, to, like, how do I put this? So, like, you've been to Bath, and you know that yes. a lot of the architecture in Bath is, like, Roman-made. Roman, yeah. It, it's beautiful. Like, it really is. I, I love Bath. 
it, it's just like a fucking massive bath, but like way bigger on scale, you know? And now we're talking. It, it everywhere. Like everything is super, super old and like really cool. So, and also, yeah. they, I mean, I bought my wallet from there actually in Italy. And I'll tell you what, dude, if you had a whiff of this genuine lever made in Italy, I can't even pronounce where it was made, this fucking smells like so strong. It, 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 you could sniff this all day, bro. If you like that, bro, it's so nice. Does that have a brand or something like that? What's the name uh, of it? I don't think it's branded. It says Genuine Lever Vera, Vera Pella, which I'm guessing is a place in Italy. Might be the name of the tannery there. Could Maybe. be. Maybe. It could be. I don't know. It doesn't ring a bell. But yeah, they've got loads of lever goods local. there. Like, you'll be in I heaven. guess yours is local. Mm. You'll be in heaven, man. Right. Italians are some of the best at Levitanery, so yeah. Yeah. Some of the best in general, baby. You already know. We out here. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. What about some Chinese pottery? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we've pretty much covered everything and we went on some crazy tangents. We talked about yeah, AI. Some good ones, man. We mm. spoke about robots, yeah. the meaning of life. It's been Rig, Rig, it's give been... them a word to type. If they're watching till mm. the very end, what should they type in the comments? Italian word. How about that? So then the people Wait, that a have, word to type? The people yeah. the people that have watched this far in the video, like three hours. We'll heart them. We'll heart them. Oh. No. Yeah. Oh, we'll give them a them. word to type. Any any word? Mm -hmm. Any word that comes to mind. Maybe Gold. Italian word, maybe an Gold. Italian. Okay, Gold. Okay. Gold. Oh, true. Yeah. Or breaking down. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. You heard it, boys? Yeah, if you've watched Type this Gold. far, you're an absolute beast. Thank Ooh. you for or, uh... or if you like the if you liked it too, just say it was golden, you know, or something. It was golden. Mm. There we go. Yeah. Hurt, right? hurt, it was golden. <laughs> what why would it hurt? What? It hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> what? What about not knowing okay. his name? I am sad about that. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna have to find out his name after this stream. I don't feel like. Oh, we... I know it now, bro. I'm filled in. You, you know, know I mean, it. I'm Wait, yes, sir. It's not re gold, is it? That'd be sick. <laughs> what are you guys gonna get up to after the uh, podcast ends? Oh, I'm gonna go for a run, but we... like we'll figure out the title before that. Though. Yeah, I'll probably. I don't know. I'm pretty fucking yeah. hungry. I skipped lunch today, so I might get some food and then. Hit yeah, the I'll go for a run and then eat and then uh, just do some editing later. Basically, I have a lot of video stuff to do. Oh yeah. But, yeah um, what, what about what about you, Madmin Cow? Eat, hopefully find an anime, pass the fuck out, wake up, grind, <laughs> do some more AI stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, what should we title this though? You know? Mm. Oh, did you end it already? No, I'm, I'm literally yeah. I'm trying to end it. I'm waiting for you boys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for you guys. Uh, right, anyways, listen, yeah, but, Rick. But you guys know what's going to do. <laughs> Rick, it's been a pleasure to have you on. Thank yeah. you very much for your time. We've been here for like three hours, dude. Um, uh, yeah, you know, thank you so much for having me. It's been a blast. Hell yeah, man! I think we all had natural chemistry, and it rolled really nice. Yeah, that was great. I it's enjoyed sweet. it. Um, we'll link you down below, mate. So, guys, make sure you go check out Rigandow. And mm -hmm. again, on, thank you very much, Twitch. man. And no, thank you very much.